Yo, what up? This is uh, the Squeegee Life Podcast. Cerrotes! We're here with... Uh... Cerrote! <laughs> <laughs> We're here with... Uh... <laughs> We're here with Mario Chavez. Everyone's favorite fucking internet oh. troll. <laughs> <laughs> you said all to, man. <laughs> That's fucking great. <laughs> Thank you for having me here, man. It's a, it's a pleasure. Yeah, long it, time. Like it's, on... it's a long time coming, man. You know, you you, you and I have uh, been fucking uh, busting each other's chops on the internet for fucking a couple years now. Now we're now we're. Uh, on a podcast together, it's, I, I've been waiting for this for yeah, a long yeah. time. <clears throat> You're one of my uh, how that how that works out. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah, you know? hey, you know, yeah. Fun, yeah, yeah. You're one of my favorite people Thanks. to watch on the on Facebooks, man. Yeah, I, I'm blocking two of my of my three accounts, but <laughs> probably I'm thinking of doing another one just in case yeah. it happens the same it happens to you. <laughs> yeah. So hey, I'm just, just so. If you don't mind sharing, what are some of the other names of your, oh, you know, no, no, but they're all Mario. I, 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 oh, yeah. I haven't got to the point with TJ, like, they don't have, uh, he needs to change Lowell something. Yeah, I think yeah, that's one. my grandpa's name. Yeah, yeah. I, think I, I haven't got to the level of that. <coughs> I haven't unlocked that thing. I'm yeah, such a, hey, that hard yet? <laughs> hey, I'm such a piece of shit that I've even got my grandfather's name blocked on Facebook already. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I remember when you friend requested me from that. I'm like, what the fuck is this? And I'm like, oh, it's TJ. Wearing fucking bibs and fucking grandpa right. glasses. I'm like, dope, dude. Oh, dude, my face hurts, man. Like, my nose. You're working a lot. Yeah, my nose is like burnt to a crisp, man. It's so burnt. Yeah, I've been working. I, I Not not a lot of commercial work, of course. I mean, s still nothing. Yes. You know what I mean? But. Um, I've been doing a lot of house washing and uh, pressure washing and shit, which is something I don't normally do a lot of. You know what I mean? It's yes. not not that I don't like to do it. It's just that it's, it's really taxing when you're by yourself. You know, and you got to wind hose yeah. and set everything up by exactly. yourself. It gets it gets it's a little tough by yourself, but you know I'm not like Mark. Yeah. I don't have an army of minions around to do my every bidding. So <laughs> hey, I burned those minions. <laughs> yeah, man. you did. Trust me, I I've I was envious there. today. I was envious uh, the last two days. I was like, man, I wish I was like Mark and Josh and Seth and had people working for me because this fucking sucks right now. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, well, like trust I said, me, you I'm know, still out there doing the shit work too. So they ain't that fun. Sometimes yeah. I get out of the truck. Walk to the back, put the tailgate down, look at the job, and go. I just feel like putting the tailgate up right. and, and going home. You know what I'm saying? What about you, Sid? Do you have employees? Uh, I got one employee, and then my brother right now. I used to have two other employees, but uh, this whole madness has made me downsize a little bit. Hey, Mario. What about you? Are you working at all, Mario? Mario, my my Nothing. Mario, my wife likes your hair. 
Oh, thank you. <laughs> she, she, she you guys she remember it. that PlayStation 2 game, Royal Rumble? That yeah, he, yeah. Looks, he looks like he's on the cover of that. You know, remember that game? Like, yes. He, uh, yeah. I can't remember what his name is, but he was awesome to fight with in that game. The boxer. Yeah. Uh, the boxer. I, I, yeah. I, I, I think I still have the PlayStation 2 in Ensemble. Or yeah. I still have them. Yeah. Yeah. So you're not, uh, you you are you live in Simi Valley, California. You're not doing a whole lot right now as, in, as far as working. You know what I mean? You ain't got a lot going on, do you, Mario? No, because uh, I live, this county is called Ventura, mm -hmm. I, and all my jobs and my customers are located in Los Angeles County, mm -hmm. Beverly Hills, West Hollywood, so they're still closed. That's why, you know, it's it's kind of hard because I, I, I can wait another two months probably, but I don't want my customer to be paying like seven, $8,000 a month and without it being able to open. That's why I'm worried. I just don't want them to... Right. Uh, bank, or, yeah, yeah, you, know. you lo lose their their businesses while this That's is all the going on. They're they're paying all that money for rent and they can't be open. You know, um, I I think a lot of um, unfortunately, I think there's going to be a lot of places that are going to uh, probably suffer that same fate. Even some of my customers that I've had for years that can't open, you know, can't really justify being open when you know what I mean, and. Now they're like, you know, tr how are they going to catch up? How are they going to get back all that? You know what I mean? That's that's going to be tough. Yeah. That's, that's the thing concerning me more because, uh, you know, like probably I can work another week doing something else that I hate or whatever. But, you know, I just want to make sure that they're going to be open by the time they say, okay, you know, they give them the green light. Because this week I already have four uh, weekly uh, customer that, you know, I, I used to do. I wasn't going to do it this week, but all this thing going on, uh, you know, it's, it make, made it uh, impossible for me. So that's why we postponed for another week. So you've not so only that, got to deal with the COVID, but uh, you're saying the rioting and all this stuff is... Uh... Yeah, because, uh, you know, they're breaking uh, windows on, you know, commercial. That's another yeah, thing, you know. You're right. Yeah, and nobody owns uh, guns or stuff like that, like Texas or so... You can have concealed carry or any. You can own a gun, no. obviously. No. Probably you can have one. But do you, ha, have you seen that I go to my neighbors? He's a uh, uh, Vietnam veteran. So every yeah. time I want to post a uh, picture of a gun, hey, Mr. Jeff, can I take a picture of you? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just want to, you know, I'm not like a character. I just want people to believe I have guns. But no, I, I don't think you can uh, carry unless you have some kind of. I think you hey, can only have one in your house, but Seth, yeah. Seth Diego G Garcia wants to know if you you could be friends with him on Facebook. Oh fuck yeah, man! Don't I'll be, be a douche. Him, don't man. be a douche and accept Diego's for friend request, asshole. Yeah. So don't accept his friend I request. I said don't be an know? asshole and accept his. Oh all right. Yeah. I got confused. Diego's uh, awesome. hundred percent. Well, yeah, I'll be friends with. Hey him. Richie says you could be a temporary pimp, Mario. I mean, you could like you could. Probably, like, yeah. money, <laughs> he said, <dude>. probably. Yeah. <laughs> I could probably yeah. do it. <laughs> yeah, a few slaps here and there, you know, ain't that bad. But yeah, no, I need, I need to. I don't think I'm that strong. Uh, like the videos I send you, TJ. You know, I'm not in that level. I need to be stronger. <laughs> right, you know, yeah, I, I don't know. know. There's only dude, one muscle that needs to work. To yeah, be yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dude, Mario's videos yeah, are the yeah. best, man. I love those. I, I'm glad that you were a good sport, like all your dancing videos that you sent me or posted on the oh, internet. Yeah. I'm glad yeah. you were a good sport about that, because that shit to me, I just, the the one where you're like, like doing this, that fucking shit, yeah. absolutely, every time because, I see it, it, it makes, I almost piss my pants laughing every time I see it. It's hilarious. Because I, I was in a good mood because they say, okay, two weeks, uh, quarantine, whatever. So I say, okay, two weeks, I can do this. And I was all happy. After the two weeks, when they extended it another six weeks, I got in kind of like not depression, but I was very worried. So that's why I haven't been dancing anymore. Right? You know, because, yeah. See, hey, Thad. Yeah. Hey, Thad, man. Hey, uh, Thad Ekoff, uh, everyone here at the Squeegee Life podcast is wishing you a speedy recovery, man. You got to take yeah. it. You, you got to take it easy, Evil Knievel. Fucking Thad Ekoff broke something else, broke his ankle. Like, Dude. didn't he didn't break it. it it's like. Fucking it shattered? It's shattered. He shattered oh, his wow. ankle. And then that was his, that he was just his, had surgery uh, on it. He just had surgery oh, on it yesterday, I think. Is, is that the guy uh, 
Is that the guy who Mark said that next time he sees he's gonna break another bone? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes! <laughs> broke the arm last time, now I got the fucking leg. <laughs> he's a grown man with a child's face. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> a grown man with a child. Looks very face. happy. You look who? Yeah. Thad? Yeah. Thad? Oh yeah. Uh, Thad. Thad, Thad is yeah. dude. Thad's a Thad he's, is he's rad. A childlike wonderment. Yeah. About him. Thad is rad. He's a good dude. Yeah, dude. We we uh, Thad. Seriously, you gotta take care of yourself, brother man. For real. This dude's always hurting himself. He's always fucking hurt. Yeah, his shoulder was fucked up. Now his ankles all messed yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Well, hopefully we'll get when, when we go to the huge convention this year. Thad's gonna be in a boot. He's going to be... What is a bluff? A fat chick? He jumped off of a bluff. <laughs> we, we call them fatties over here. <laughs> Seeing Mark with a Miami Dolphins t-shirt on make, really fucking throws me for a loop. You I know? just grabbed it. I got out of the shower. It just, it I really... really watched Ace Ventura and then was like, oh, I'll buy a Miami Dolphins like, shirt. Yeah, like, yeah, he, right, right. They score a touchdown. Mark's like, yay, sports! <laughs> yeah. no, I, I gave up on him years ago, right? you know? <laughs> Unless you're turning left or you're on a four-wheeler, Mark don't give a shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. That's true. No, I'm not a huge NASCAR fan. The only My only NASCAR, you know, interaction was when my brother was getting us in, you know, uh -huh. when he was representing uh, right. the Air Force, so... I mean, look, I enjoyed it. I recommend it to anybody, <coughs> you know. But in order to really enjoy it, it's just like football. you got to pick a team. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just like anybody that's driving a Ford, I like. And then that wasn't enough. So then you pick a team. And, of course, you pick a team that's doing good. Laces so then you're out. like a fair-weather fan, you know. <laughs> Fucking Mike. Laces out. <laughs> Laces out. <laughs> Einhorn is a man. Einhorn is a man. <laughs> I'll be in a boot on a rascal. Oh, if you're going to... Oh, he's going to be riding a scooter. That's going to be sweet, dude. <laughs> dude, if you show up to the huge convention on a rascal, we will tip you over. Yeah, you're, getting, you're going to get another... <laughs> we'll your other ankle by accident. Right. <laughs> your other ankle's going to get broke. Mario. Hey, Mark, are you, are, are you taking Mr. Uh, Henry to your... Uh, to the, uh, uh, huge convention? Are you taking if Henry Treese wants a, wants a ride... Uh, he has to get a hotel room. I would be happy to give him a ride. <laughs> I would. Okay. But brought, my wife is going. He can't bring those fucking weapons. Okay. He's no. gotta, yeah. I brought yeah. my knife with him. He's got to stay zipped up in the back seat. We will have none of that. I have. Probably he, he, he should sure uh, share a room with Mr. Mark Darnell. That guy is hilarious. Man. Oh, damn, neither one of them will have clothes on the whole time. I'll <laughs> probably never leave the room. <laughs> That was huge. Yeah, that was huge. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> they can come Mario, are you going to go the convention? To... No, this year probably I was going to go, but you know all these things going on, and I I want the saving to kind of last me until September to see if the things pick up or anything. That's why I'm right. Probably next year I'm going to go with my two boys, and I'm going to pay my daughter, my wife, and my sister at Disneyland thing for three days, and we go. Uh, two days to the that'd be great, man. I really that'd be nice yeah. sharing a uh, moment with people who talk the same language like you. I mean, not language, but you know, the window cleaning, yeah, language. yeah, yeah. Well, I tell yeah, you, that's language, yeah, yeah, that's same that's thing. that's, that's yeah. essentially what it is the same, and we're all speaking the same language here, we're all uh, slinging squeegees. So, everybody, you know, that was the yeah. coolest part of it to me. I mean, the trade show's cool, and you know, they got awesome classes and shit like that. But being with your peers is the the funnest stuff, I think, in my opinion. Yeah. Getting to hang out with everybody and shoot the breeze and, you know, just, you know, the, living it up. The trade show, I would really, uh, I really would like to be in one of the trade shows. To, I mean, I don't want to sound weird. Touch every pole, you know. Yeah. Oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Mark. We'll be there doing it with you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, what what is your preferred brand, Mario, uh, of pole? Uh, right now, uh, you know, simple. Oh yeah, and it yeah. comes with the free Bible, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you yeah, know, Mr. Uh, Uncle Philip. I haven't spoke to him for a while, but you know. <laughs> yeah, I still have the Bible he gave me over there. I still have it there because. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that probably that's the only pole I you I have hardly used, and now the zero trial I really like it. Mm -hmm. But yeah. 
you know, I, I didn't believe in <coughs> water sport because when I was, uh, when they hired me in this place, I don't know if I can show the shirt. No, yeah, you can. You're fine. Yeah, when they when they okay. hired me here, you know, there was an Argentinian guy in 2009, and he said, uh, Mario, you know what? These high windows, we do it with some ball and the water, but it never works. Just, he told me to do M's in every window. He said, just do M's. Anyways, even if you take your time, it's never going to be good. So when they did teach me that, uh -huh. uh, I have an idea that that thing didn't work. So right. I was doing just ends with a big gardener and stuff. So, with the, you know, I, I started getting in the groups. And by 2015, you know, when somebody, you know, was teaching me, uh, showing me some videos, uh -huh. uh, how to do it, like, like cartoons, you know, uh -huh. I was like, probably it will work. So I started trying in the, in lower windows with a di tank and i don't know oh so i was doing it wrong because you know whoever who did teach me in the past he said this doesn't work because we didn't know what was tds meter we didn't know about a good brush so that's why i started using that but i wanted to start cheap i said i don't know if that's gonna work for me so i was trying to find a well fed port cheap and i remember this uh seeing this guy commenting every group like hey simple but i didn't know <laughs> uh, you know but i say i told him and when i went to his website in 2015 it was very like kind of awkward to me to find you know prices mm. so when i called i was thinking it was gonna be like a machine or something but it was his cell phone so he was great he told me okay i'm gonna I, i'm gonna send you some used uh phones and i i got a good deal probably 175 or 200 dollars for a 16 feet uh, simple. So when I came here, I put it in my bed. And I, I mean, I don't want to sound weird again, but you know, I was touching it because it was, you know, it what was really touching? beautiful. Like, what we touching? Stuff yeah. Because touching I was used to that old garden. <laughs> and then, um, nice you know, That's when cool. I when I put it together and, and I was very happy to go work, but when I extended, it was only 16. I wasn't even half of whatever I wanted right. to do. So I asked him for another extension. And since then, I just started using simples. And, right. hey, Uncle Phillips, uh, do you have more used poles? And every, you know, <laughs> I told him, everything you have in your garage, everything is used. I could sell it here for you. And I started selling things and, you know, putting wax on it. I really like the way it shines and stuff. So probably that's the only time that i've used well third pole uh if you find some guy I fell going in and out <laughs> well that's mr henry right, yeah, right? Is... <laughs> <laughs> that's the first time that's that's the first time anyone's ever fucking put mr and henry together <laughs> mr henry hardy is this yeah, so whoever I, I used to see a guy from a different out. brand of pole somewhere you know just to get People must say, hey, hey, can I take a picture? Let me use your poll, take a picture. I'm going right. to say it's the best ever. So right. I was just trying to make people mad. <laughs> and, you know. Which is your MO. That's that's your thing is like uh, you just like to piss people off on the Internet. And I don't think a lot of people yeah. realize that. You know, I think yeah. people think that you're being like genuinely being like an asshole and you're not. You're just you just. It's just something to pass the time. I hate to, I hate to like put you on front street, but Mario is a really, a really genuine dude. He just likes to be an asshole on the internet. That's yeah. it's just yeah, like yeah. he just having that. They yeah, just having dude, fun. If you've yeah. seen one video of his, you can tell the dude likes to joke around. Yeah. Like yeah. you, like yeah. everyone's yeah. like, oh, I can't believe I'm like, well, he's fucking with you. Yeah. Like you get yeah, yeah. relax. Yeah. He's having That's fun. It started in 2015 because a lot of my friends in the suburb and I love them and everything. But they used to. I went to one place and the guy had ten thousand dollar cash and I because he he do bets you know on mm -hmm. teams and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I said, hey, can I just let me you know, take a picture of me? Let me hold the bills. So I took a picture. So since that day, everybody in, in El Salvador or here in Los Angeles, hey Mario, can I have five hundred? Can so I started getting so much. So I, I just told I told my wife, you know what, I'm gonna start being such a dick on Facebook. So people stopped asking me for money because I didn't have money. It was just a joke, but people like a whole year asking me for money. And I kinda like it and I just kept going. Now I'm out of control. That's why I have two accounts suspended right so now. So I'm I'm <laughs> I'm curious. I'm curious and this is I've always this is always I always see you working with someone else, but you you, you work yeah. by yourself, right? You kinda team up with another guy, right? 
You guys aren't business. Yeah. You guys aren't business partners. You just work together on things, right? Yeah, uh, we were working in fish uh, with Alfredo, with Mario Flores, mm -hmm. and well, only the three of us. So when we he went out of business because he used to be very bad with depression. He didn't open the shop for three days for a week. So he went out of business and we said, you know what, whatever my route was this, your route was Santa Monica. Let's just go visit the customer say, hey, you know, he's not in business anymore. Can we? And we just Walked kind away. of did, like, did fish yeah. didn't try to take it back. Like, the no, because the corporate didn't want to take that work back. No, because they needed somebody to pay another 150000 to uh -huh. get the territory. So by that time, we, because, you know, like when they used to know me by person. Hey, Mario, good morning. So I said, it's going to be the same guy, but you're going to pay less because yes. if you're paying 100 bucks. They give me 30. Yes. So pay 50. I make 50. So I make more. You make less. So that's why everybody yes. started, you know, right. and, and, you, and, and like it. Yeah. And you, ju you just went in and said, we're not a fucking fish, okay? <laughs> no, no, no. I, I was, I was like, no. I feel bad for the guy, you know. But I don't think he's coming back. You he's know, I didn't want to. He's from El Salvador. He's not from fucking Cuba, Mark. <laughs> well, they all have that similar. Sound. No, they, so, dude. Yeah. It, it's, <laughs> they all look alike. They all look alike. No, oh, crack a lack over here. I, Jesus uh, Christ, what a no, cracker. I, I, <laughs> no, I really like uh, to be confused with Colombians or Cubans. Uh, that that's great, but. Not with you know with somebody else, some other people. I, I'd rather Cuban or Colombian, whatever. <laughs> yeah. So, so how long have you been in business? Uh, since 2013. I started with fish 2009, and then uh, yeah, we just went to get fictitious name and all those kind of weird things. We were all excited about because in order to get paid, we need to get so, uh, like a lot of things from the city. Yeah, so. Yeah. So we were all happy and... So you didn't walk in there going, I'm going to own this motherfucker someday. It just happened. Uh, what's the name? What did you change the name to? What's the name now? No, it's still Mario's Window Cleaning. Mario's Window yeah. Cleaning. Yeah. So yeah. it went from fish to Mario's Window Cleaning. Well, you yeah. just took... The you, guy you, essentially, what you did was is you were working for a franchise. It went belly up and you were like, screw it, I'm going to go get these accounts. Yeah. yeah, because so, I, I, I was happy in Fish because we kind of had a power by that time. He, he didn't show up for some kind of days, and we just cherry picks all the work orders. And sometimes, like, oh, $15 job. And we just used to cherry pick the big jobs, you know. Right. <laughs> I was happy. <laughs> so, yeah. were, there yeah. any okay. other, were there any other looters that took work other than you mm. and your buddy? Just, uh, what no, happened just, to the stuff no, within no, him? Who, the three of us. There's Alfredo, yeah. Mario, and myself. So they open. We all open this, the business the same day. So uh -huh. whatever I have, let's say I have a six hundred dollar job, and yes. you know, like I don't have to take my equipment. I just hop in his truck, yeah. and then you know, like when when they pay me, I just we we'll go half and half, you know, because he's nice. putting his equipment, his truck, and yeah, we just uh, go half and half, and you know, that's it's been Sounds working good. good for us. Yeah. Yeah. On, yeah. Until this day, we met this guy. Uh, I don't know if I can. You could say like Lucas. You, yeah, you could say that. Yeah, yeah we met that guy in uh, 2016. Uh huh. You know, he was like a player. You know, like okay, he stole and stuff. And he's like, hey, you guys, in Spanish, uh, washing window. You guys, do you want? Do you guys want to grow your business? And I, I, I was like, this guy like a kind of herbalite. Uh -huh. <laughs> Amway. Amway. <laughs> but he, he was he was dating these girls from big com uh maintenance companies. Uh huh. Yeah. He said, you know, I'm a player. I have like three girlfriends, and and he was like, hey, <laughs> this guy's here, and he uh, we pay him, but we I got a lot of jobs like the Teslas, uh, Express Store, all those big uh monthly accounts. I got it because he had a girlfriend in this uh, maintenance company. Uh -huh. And that's what he keeps doing, whatever he goes in the States, because he's weird. Sometimes he stays in Spain or Italy, like uh, uh, 11 months, whatever. Whenever he's here, he he, he helps people to that's put cool. a route together, and they pay him. He just... That's cool. But I don't mind. Yeah. I, I, I don't mind, Lucas. He just... He, he's mad at us, or mad at me, but I, I don't give a fuck. It's cool. Ooh. No, I, the thing is, we, you how do you think in the Frank uh, Ray group, uh, uh -huh. you know, the, the things... He used to be so... Like you know, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, it is what it is. Yeah, you know we. I hey, 
all, we can coexist and not uh, not shit on each other's down each other's necks all the time. It's cool, you know what I mean. It is what it is. There's yeah. a time and place for all that stuff. I don't hold no. I'm not a grudge holder for the most part. Or there's only a few people I really hold grudges with. But outside of that, you know what I mean. I don't. That shit. Yeah. The way I look at it is, is uh, life is too short to be pissed off at everybody all the time. You know what I mean. You can't go through life mad at everybody all the time. You know what I'm saying. So yeah, and, and the same thing with Lamborghinis, brothers. I was and Josh Cronin. Mm -hmm. I was such a big with them because <laughs> they kicked me out of the group because I I, I was feeling threatened with the new guys. Uh -huh. And first of all, I was like, hey man, they're gonna fill the city with new people and stuff like that. But then after I got confidence that oh my customer loves me, right? I yeah. was mad because they didn't res. I mean, I know we're not engineers, we're not lawyers, but. I respect the uh, lawn owner, uh, people from garden. I respect their. You know, I I don't say, oh, that's easy. I can just do it. Right. But when people used to come, like, hey, window cleaner is no rocket science. Like you guys, and I was getting pissed. Like, you know. Right. And, and well, and, I mean, by that it, time I didn't understand. It, it's uh, I I know exactly where you're coming from. It's not so much what we do is difficult. But what we do, what we do have, we've worked really hard for. And for people to d diminish the hard work you put into it by yeah. saying, "Oh, it's yeah, there, yeah, it ain't there ain't shit to it." I mean, it it does it it does make you a little, it does piss you off a little bit. It's like, well, you know, yeah, that's that's true. It's yeah. not very hard, but you know, you still got to get up out of bed every morning yourself. You got to get out there yeah. and you got to do it. You stand out there in the cold and that the heat. And, you know, you got to bust your ass to make a living doing this. Don't diminish yeah. that. You know what I mean? You got to have a little respect for the guys that were yeah. there before you. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's why I, that's why I, I took to, uh, um, that's why I took, uh, so quickly to Philip because I realize Philip, I see v Philip as a veteran, like as a guy that's been there before me, yeah. doing it before yeah. me. You know what I mean? Like Mark, the same way I that's I have that same respect for yeah. Mark. Mark was out there doing it before I was doing it. And that shit that Mark was doing before I was doing it made it possible for yeah. me to do what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Maybe not in my area, but there's most likely a Mark Tanner or a Philip-like figure around here that was out doing the damn thing before I was doing it. You got to respect well, that. And, and pushing yeah. companies to move from those big-ass gardener poles to the fucking carbon fiber poles we have now yeah. to their handles, you know, like the younger ninja handle. Like, all that stuff is basically, like, window cleaners putting in the work and being yeah. like, hey, we need this, we need that, right. you know? Right, Making our lives a little easier. Yeah, I mean... And he wasn't... In the go ahead, Mar yeah. Mario. No, go ahead, Mario. No, so it wasn't the peak of the window cleaning because we're we all are the first generation of window cleaner with social media. Yeah, we all. I don't know yeah, if you remember true. in 2013. I mean, now there are gonna be so many hundred years probably, but we were the first, right? You know, window cleaners with social media and and with Benjamin Hanks and all that. It was it was it was a big thing. I didn't even work to just to be on Facebook fighting with people right. looking at Benjamin Hanks. And then these guys, you know, newbies asking or or saying derogatory things against our profession. So I was, and Facebook came out with these gift things. So Alex Labrinidis wrote me, hey, Mario, can you turn it down? And I was like, <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, you know. And then, you know, <laughs> Facebook came with these gift things. Uh -huh. And I just liked them, you know. Whenever they start asking something, I was putting so many gifts, like, you know, and, and then they just brought me. <laughs> <laughs> and I was very rude with them. That's why I, I, I don't know if you remember last year when my son was sick and everything. I, you know, I called everybody. I told Alex and Chris, you know, I, I apologize because now I understand as a business, they, I mean, the more people they are there, I mean, for, for them it's a business, you know, and right. I was kind of shitting on their, on their, the, uh, the way they earn right. uh, their, their food or everything, you know, so now I understand before I was. You know, that's well, why I apologize with everybody. That uh, that, that phone kind of call, crazy. that phone call that you gave me, changed my the way I look at you. Because when before that I was like, this guy's a fucking asshole. You know what I mean? What a fucking <laughs> dickhead. And then yeah. you called me up and you're like, hey man, you know uh, my son's going through some stuff and I feel like I got some bad karma out there and I just wanted to tell you that I apologize and. You know what I mean? La da da da. And I was like, man, this, you know, this is just a genuine dude that probably just, 
like you know, as everyone can hear, you know, Mario English is not Mario's first language. Justin Timberlake taught him how to sing or to, how to speak. You know what I mean? So, yeah, you know, it, you know, it, it maybe there there's a language barrier there. So, when you're surrounded by, like he said, the fur. Uh, we're the first generation of window cleaners to like to experience social media. Um, you, you're you see all this going on around you, and you don't you know what I mean? It, it's 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 not very hard at all to get defensive about shit. It's really yeah. not hard at all, especially like you said the confidence thing. Like I I remember um, when I first started joining window cleaning groups. Um, on Facebook, I was really close to the chest with everything I did. I didn't share anything I did on Facebook. I didn't, you know, I didn't, I didn't take no pictures. I didn't tell anybody what I was doing. And then Tim Huber's like, dude, you ought to start a YouTube channel. And I was like freaking out about it. I was like, dude, there's, I'm not doing no, when I'm not doing window cleaning on YouTube, man. I, you know, I don't want people taking my fucking work from me and all this shit. But yeah. after a while... You get that confidence, you know, your customers are, like Mark always says, you know, your customers are going to stick with you because they know you and you've built yeah. a relationship with them. And then that's when I, like you, I started to get that confidence. It didn't bother me. Like some guy just the other day hit me up on Facebook. He's about an hour away from me. He's like, I'm just getting into the business. I'm going to start. I want to, uh, do you know where I can get, um, uh, SH in bulk. I want to start a soft wash or pressure washing company. Do you mind if I shadow you for a day? I'll buy you lunch and I'll do whatever you tell me to do. And I'm like, I really don't do a lot of soft washing or pressure washing. He goes, yeah, I know. I've been watching your YouTube channel for about a year now and I'd like to, he goes, I really like your channel. I'd like to, and I'm like, you know, yeah, I've got no problem with that. You know, I'm not, I don't mind. Before I was like, you know, Man, fuck that guy. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm fuck feeling him. that. Yeah, Mario, fuck that guy. But yeah. to me, he's... No, but you, to you're me, better he's... off to establish a friendship with him. Right, right. It... Because he, you're not going to stop him from going into business, right? Right, right. So if you, if you earn some respect from him... Right. You know, I had a guy hit me up the other day. It's, it's on my private messenger. And he's like, would you mind spending a day with me and teach me the proper way to clean windows? And I said... I'm like, this guy's going to come to Florida? I'm like, are you local? And he's like, yeah. And so then I found out I was friends with him, and I went on, and he's in, you know, he's 30 miles away, uh -huh. you know? And I'm like, well, let me ask you a question. Are you are you residential, commercial? He says, no, I'm, I'm residential. I said, well, you know, the residential is a different animal, but, you know, I'll teach you how technique, uh -huh. and then you can employ that into res This guy's not my competition. Right. You know, I'll spend a day with him. I'm not paying him. He can come out. He could ride with me. I'll show him how I do things. Maybe he can get some pointers out of it. You know, that holds a value. And then, like I said, you know, if I like the guy and he does a good job and I get some work in his area, a house, you know, that my guys don't want to do, here, mm -hmm. go, go. Here's this lady. Call her up. Go clean her house. I mean, better to have friends than enemies. It's, yeah, it's you know? better to have that, at least have that mutual respect. Like if, yeah. like if yeah. I spend the day with this yeah. dude yeah. And, and I show him, you know, not necessarily the ropes, but show him, like, you know, share some of my knowledge with him, he's much less likely to fucking be an asshole to me in in a business sense. You know what I mean? Because yeah. you've, exactly. developed, you've developed yeah. a rapport with him. You know, if you're like, if he's like, hey, man, will you show me how to clean a window? And you're like, fuck you, dickhead. Figure it out yourself. Yeah. When when he <laughs> figures out how to clean that window, he's going to be gunning you're for you. Person. You're he's the first out. person he's going to try to shit person. on. You're, you'd be the first person I'd come for. Right, right. I mean, I've so, got like six window cleaners in my area, and I'm cool with all of them except for one. You guys know that fucking one. But I'm saying the rest of them, like... If they ask me, oh, can I borrow your water fed pole? I'm like, yeah, sure, man. I'm not mm. using it today. Like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, hey, I need an extra guy on this job. You know, right. it's just it works out uh, better for us. Yeah, it's 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 better to. I mean, there are there are dudes out there like fucking Seth has a guy locally to him that they kind of butt heads and shit like that. He goes, there are circumstances like that. I've got a company near me where the, I can't stand the fucking dude and he don't like me, you know what I mean? But that hasn't affected my business. I'm still out. I mean, look at me. I'm sunburnt. I've been out doing my damn thing, you know what I mean? So that yeah. don't affect that. But I do know there's like like the soft wash guy that I talk about all the time that, he, you know, just he just took, 
I just got three jobs this week from this guy. You know what I mean? He yeah. he don't even go back and water fan yeah. pull his windows. He's just like, here's, here's, give this guy a call. You know what I mean? I gave him a stack of cards and he fucking asked for another stack of cards. Yeah, can you give me more cards? Yeah. You know, it just, if you build that rapport and, and you know, I know another yeah. window cleaner. If you build that rapport with someone, you know, like there's jobs that I just like pressure washing and like roof cleaning. I just don't want to fuck with. I'm just like, call Squeaky Peak. He'll take care of you. You know what I mean? He's a good dude. You know what I mean? Whatever's whatever. You know what I mean? And that, res yeah. that, that mutual re respect, if you have, it's better to have respect for your contemporaries than contempt because contempt just breeds like angst you know it's just gonna it's gonna lead to other bullshit that you're gonna have to deal with girl. down the road and you don't want to deal with that shit down the road you just want to no, make yeah. money man you just want to make and, money and you make bad business decisions that way too though yeah if you're always worried about what the other guy's doing mm -hmm. you're you're yeah. not worried about what's in your house you know what i mean like what you're supposed yeah. to be doing well we there's so, like, at least for me, like, right, like, I live in a, a heavy residential area. You know, not a lot of storefronts like Mark. Mine's, like, heavy residential. Mm -hmm. There's, like, four or five other guys I see, like, every fucking day when I'm out. I don't worry about them. Right. Yeah. They're doing their own thing. I'm, I'm busy doing my thing. You and, can't, and, and, uh, <laughs> you're fucking up if you're, you're worried. Yeah, you're fucking up if you're worried about the next guy. Like I see it in yeah, these pressure. Wave to the guy, I see you. I see it in this these pressure washing groups all the time, and if I say something about it, they jump on my neck. You don't understand. It's doing this and it's doing that. Yeah, but if you're doing you, it doesn't matter. It doesn't yep. matter. Yep. It doesn't matter. Like the ninety nine dollar guys, right? Yeah, the ninety nine dollar yeah. pressure washing guys. He's one of two things are gonna happen. He's either gonna go under because he's fucking a $99 guy and he's half-ass in everything he does. Or two, he's going to get his wheels underneath him and he's going to want to upgrade his equipment and start doing different things. And then he's going to realize $99 yeah. ain't good, fucking working. And well, then he's we gonna, were all the $99 guy at, point, at some point. You know what point, I mean? Like, yeah. You don't start off charging like big up, bucks John? when you're trying to just get work. You know what I mean? Like you, you up, There's room for that guy. Yeah. Right. My, and there's room for the there's room for the middle guy and there's room for the high guy and and you're supposed to move up the ladder. You know what I mean? Go from the <laughs> yeah. low guy to the middle guy to the high guy. You know? Uh, you know, you know when um, you when you when you start a business and you go out there just like Mario, you come out of like a a bucking bronco out of the gate. Nobody get in my way. I'm taking everything I can. You know, I'm I'm going to build this business. I'm not showing anybody anything. And then over time, you start to trot around the pasture going. I got it pretty good. I'm making a living. Right. You know, I've made made a few acquaintances that respect me and I respect them. Mm -hmm. And then it gets to a point where you've had jobs for 10 years, 15 years. It doesn't matter what anybody says. They ain't taking you. Right. Even if they go in for less. They're like, I've had this guy for 15 years. Mm -hmm. you think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a change now to save five bucks of cleaning. You know, so you become comfortable. And then and then at that point, you know, you're more more apt to go help someone who didn't have a mentor such as a father or, you know, now you have YouTube, okay? And there's a lot of window cleaners that are YouTube window cleaners. I used to trash on them all the time, not realizing I was taught by my dad. And my dad was taught by a guy that was 30 years over him. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I t was taught by them. So not everybody has that advantage. So right. if you can help someone out, you know, by all means, good karma, you know? I mean, there's dudes out there but, like, um, uh, like Steve-O that are really geared towards showing new people how to to clean windows and how to run like a window cleaning business um like you know the the best way possible you know what i'm saying and then there's guys like me that just make window cleaning videos and i don't show people different techniques i don't show people you know like use this tool or use that too i'm just like this is what i use this is my day and this is how i do it you know what i mean i i can't I, I can't be that guy like Steve O is, but that you there are people out there, and like people. I get messages all the time from dudes who are like, "Man, you're really good with uh, working on a pole. Um, hey, working with a yeah. pole. <laughs> um, you, you know, you're really good at that. You know, how do you do this? How do you do that? And I don't, you know, you you know, I don't realize when I'm making those videos or when I started making videos that there was actually going to be people that are watching them to learn how to clean windows. Yeah. You know, what I mean, you don't realize that when you're doing it. Go ahead, Mario. But your channel, what I like about your channel, uh, TJ, is uh, to me your channel is more for like for us. You know, we're already in the game, and uh, so you don't need to be starting that. Like, you get water from here and all that. That's what I like about <coughs> your channel. Right. And, and uh, 
it, it sounds easy. All you learn from you too, but you know, like trying to do what you do. Oh, okay, this shit is hard. So right. I, I don't have time. I need to go to other right. store. You know, yeah. that's why uh, your channel is more for us. For for uh, right, I would trust a review from you because we are kind of in the same level of of uh, years. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I'm, but I've I've stolen stuff from TJ. Like I I stole the wet rag move. I was like, oh, I like that. Like, I, I, I watched you do it, and I was like... Oh, you mean I, wiping I, the I edges see, with the white... Uh, yeah, so I used to do it a little oh, bit, uh-huh. and I was like, oh, man. But, like, when you're doing residential and stuff like that, that wet rag gets all that, like, 90% of the bullshit off the sides. Yep. Like, all that dirty water. And it's like, it's now something I do every time yeah. I clean windows. Yeah. Well, I some like people... everything except the last part. Well, Frank Rave... You know, I, Frank Rave does the same thing with a sponge. You know what I mean? It's yeah, just a little it's different. Same move. Yeah, it's the same yeah. move. I tried that no, whole sea sponge thing. That that sea sponge thing is an acquired taste. Yeah, but the old school guys, they love it. Mario don't like it either. Look at Mario. Mario looks like he's no, getting ready to get sick. No, <laughs> no, no I, I really like just a little squeegee in the back, like the seal squeegee. Uh, you know, I I don't know. I, yeah. Yeah. To me, to me, Mario, the way I look at it is me. It's I've already got the rag in my hand. It's a transition for yeah. me. When I'm cleaning windows, transitions me more transmissions. Uh, means more time. So, like, when I yeah. clean a window and I get private messages, I can't believe you drag your squeegee across the sill. Well, I'm yeah. going to change the rubber fucking anyways. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I, it's, I, a yeah. it's a it's dollar. It's a dollar, dude. It's a dollar. Yeah, and, I, it's a and you got a special squeegee that you switch to to do that? I ah, fuck that. Yeah, no. I mean, I sometimes <laughs> use a small to pull off sills. But it's 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 far and few between. It's all preference, but no, like, man. I, I, when I watch certain guys clean windows, I do try to pick up like, oh, I kind of like this, I like that. You know, yeah. I'm not a big razor guy. Like I never have been. I'm like, if you if you got sp- paint speckle on your windows, well, that's your fucking problem. Right. Like in my opinion, right. like, if you're not paying me to get it off, <laughs> I'm getting it off. Like, I'm, well, I'm around, around. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and that's how I work. Like a lot of guys, are like, well, if the window's not perfect, it's. I mean, it depends. You know what I mean? Right. It just depends on... Well, you got to cover your ass. I mean, look, every one of... Anything over 100 bucks, my company puts into a contract. Mm. Okay? Storefronts are never really contracted. I mean, the bigger ones, it, they want it in writing, you know, right. and it's just self-renewing. You right. know, you don't say, well, it's for two years, and then right. I'm going to make a change. It's Right. You know, but, yeah. like, every one of them, and if anybody wants the verbiage, I'll email it to anyone, mm-hmm. the verbiage on the bottom of my contract. It specifically states, this is a maintenance, unless otherwise specified, this is a maintenance contract, which does not include paint, stain, scratch, or any type right. of restoration. Right. And that's it. Right. Because, you know, Seth, I've seen that. I, I've done houses where you go clean the house and they got that, I call it pepper, oversprayed yeah. all over the windows. Yeah, and the yeah. guy's like, well, well no, you're, sprayed yeah, without you're the paint to clean the paper. windows and they're not clean. Well, if you read the contract, that's a whole other animal right, right there. Right. Yeah. You know, right. you're going mean, to double the amount of time that I'm here and I'm supposed honest, to do it for the same at, price. At this point, it, like, I, I see it before I do the job and I bring it up. I'm like, hey, you want this? It's double the price to do it. And, like, I, because I don't care if I get it or not at right. this point. Right. Yeah. You know, when I was first out, I'm scraping everything. I'm like, oh, I'll make this perfect. And right. still, I'm like, now yeah. I'm just yeah. like, I want the customers that I want to do the work I want to do when I feel like doing it. You know what I mean? Like, that's not everybody, but <laughs> right. like, no, you know what right. you, TJ, you know what I'm yeah, talking about. No, like, I, you're that, the, that's why I'm customers. giggling. You yeah. want that dude. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't want to go do your 20 mm-hmm. windows while I have a coupon. Like, you yeah. can go fuck yourself. Oh, like, no. I, I, <laughs> I, I do the coupons, but like, you know, to fill holes and, right. and do other things. Yeah. But like, yeah. I'm really trying to get rid of that shit. Right. Like, I don't want yeah. to put it in. I don't, I just, I'm the, I'm well, the same way. I don't want to deal with it. What do you guys think about uh, Mark? What do you think uh, if that if that would be in your hands? If in the future somebody could come with a interior uh, water fed pole, would you would you like it or no? Would you still like to be old school? <laughs> no. Yeah, absolutely. Inside. Yeah. No, look, yeah. I, no, Mario. Uh, look, a professional window cleaner. This is the best way I could put this knows when to use that water fed and when not to mm-hmm. and i'm a proponent of water fed i love it mm-hmm. okay Thank i get it. nervous if i'm on a job like i okay here's the for instance i have a ruth chris steakhouse that has 30 foot high glass mm-hmm. okay one of my guys that had the job i took it back from him because he was pulling it it looked like shit i start i took it i was going to lose the account and he wouldn't spend enough time there i go there i scrub it with the water fed pole and it's i take that five piece 
you know, um, zero trad. Mm. And if I'm getting nervous because it's windy out and it's near the beach or I feel it's too, it was pretty dirty, I'll squeegee the water off, no soap, okay? Yeah. But I'm still old school at heart. So right. if you're going to tell me some kind of wiping system, mm -hmm. you know, look, an indoor water fed is going to be along the lines of what they've tried, like the Stingray, or you spray uh, pure water oh. on a rag, which... Vacuum. And, no. Yeah, yeah I'm no. I'm just not... Yeah, like, yeah it, it might have its place like any other tool. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. a high skylight yeah. you can't really right. get to, or it's yeah. mad sketch to do it by yourself. Right. It, it has its place, but like... Like the other day, I went to a job that was like hundred pane windows, and it was right on the water. And me and me and the guy looked at each other. I'm like, let's just do it old school. Fuck it, let's just do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like we just laddered up and did it because it was more work to take the screens off, do all this bullshit going inside. We were just like, whatever, yeah. let's just ladder up yeah. and do it. You know? Right. So I think I think it has its place, and I love the water fed pole. But I'm gonna I, be, I, too, I, huh? I'm gonna be you, you can't replace hand tools. I'm gonna be you completely can't. honest, man. Um. I use the water fed pole when I'm lazy. When I just don't, yeah. when I don't feel like getting on the yeah. ladder, you know what I mean. I'm just yeah. when I'm having yeah. one of them days, I'm like, eh. You know, like especially, yeah. especially if it's something I do like often, like frequently, and I'm like, you know, like if if it's a well maintained house or a business, and I'm like, man, I really don't feel like getting on. Like today, um, I posted it on my Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. Um, uh, at squeegee underscore life but that big that big stone house i did today i normally always do that with a ladder always and today i'm like i'm getting out the x2 and i'm busting it out she come outside she's like that took you half the time they look just as good and i'm like well yeah i was like well that's because i do it by hand all the time and she's oh. like oh yeah i see what you're saying you know and if i that's yeah. right on the lake if i did it with a water fed pole all the time it would not look it, it just wouldn't look that yeah good. you gotta you gotta switch you it gotta up like I, I have i have an audi dealership that goes every week and just across the front's about 50 40 to 50 windows mm -hmm. and they're tall and it's always the job that you mm -hmm. put off on a friday going ah oh, i gotta go do the audi job you <laughs> yeah, know? yeah so like a month ago i backed my truck up right in front of the glass and i'm like you know what i'm gonna try something now i do the high tops with the water fed right so i'm like the problem is that it's a new dealership it's five years old mm -hmm. and the bushes in front of the windows which they give you like a foot room now they've been trimming them and they're starting to get real woody ah. so dude if you walk back between that glass the bushes are too deep to reach over them uh -huh. so you got to squeeze between the glass and the bushes you're going to be bleeding when you leave no matter what well, no i matter. can do it with you a flat squeegee you, could, you need to work on your zero degree a little bit more i was playing with that the other I, day dude I that you. that warmed my heart that warmed my heart yeah. when you sent that yeah. video i was like oh yeah. mark yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah, he yeah. calls yeah. it my mark my the ship box. my flippy <laughs> floppy yeah. he goes why don't yeah. you use your flippy floppy <laughs> yeah but, but no but yeah. let me finish this one so well, mark posted that picture though i was like would you get that 1996 <laughs> yeah. <done? laughs> I bought that years ago I used to buy everything that came out right. and I bought that and I never got the hang of it I've seen the videos I've seen you use it and I'm like I, look it never makes it more than five windows before I get frustrated <laughs> right. and put it back in the bucket you know yeah. but but anyway yeah. I water fed I water fed the first floor of this car dealer that I do every week and when I walked inside it was freaking perfect so I was able to reach over the bushes <laughs> and that so now we're going to do it that way. You know, mm -hmm. there's no slip and fall because it's in the bushes mm -hmm. and I don't have to beat my legs up. So, right. you know, figuring it, sometimes yeah. it takes five years to figure out it'd be easier to do it this way. Right. And if the results are fine, who cares? Right. You know, but as far as the zero, yeah, well, I know that, man. Yeah, as far as that zero, you got to have the room to stand back. Yeah. You know, I get frustrated with it because I, I was at my Ruth Chris and I'm like, all right, I got some extra time. I was there at 10. There's nobody there till close to 11. Let me play around with that thing. I put a new rubber in it and tried to <laughs> dial it in. And then, like I said, it's five windows short, later. So it's difficult. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> me too. I, I, I was trying to work on that, and I was good on the half of the window down. Okay, I was mad already. So I just boom, boom, straight pulls right. on the side. I'm, I'm good, but I probably I have like like kind of this much for the bottom to know how to close. Well, you don't. But, the the, the you key know. the key to closing out when if you're if you're using a zero degree the way I use it, the key to closing out is walking back out away from the window. You gotta, you know what yeah, I mean. You gotta be across. You, you the gotta. Street. No, you, you don't have to be across. The street. Right? You've got to keep your distance. So I, 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 when I start at the top of the window, 
by the time I'm to the middle, I take a half a I, I take a half a step or a step back as I'm coming yeah. down to close out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, but, I even watch TJ do. I, I think lazy, laziness breeds like ingenuity. Yeah. And I watch TJ pull low windows, and I'm like, man, that would save the fuck <laughs> yeah. out of my ass. Like, yeah. I should yeah. learn how to do. Yo, that. yo, yo. It's like I never, I never once thought to like go below. Yeah. To use a pole, I'm, like ever in my life. Turbo. I watch you do it, and I'm like, it's chubby guy I, shit, I bro. Right. When you get, <laughs> hey, when you got a little yeah. bit of a belly, you know what I mean. You ain't trying to lean over too much, you know what I mean. So I'm like, we're the the whole pole, the whole pole on lower windows. I used to do this this uh, uh, plaza. I did the whole storefront. It was like fucking ten stores, and each each store has like uh, eight um, eighteen inch uh, by two foot lower windows, and there's like yep. a fucking hundred of these things. And I mean, you know, as you get a little bit older, your knees don't fucking work the way they used to. You know, what I mean, I used to nope. be pretty active. I used to ride BMX bikes all the time. I used to always be on my bike, my twenty-inch bike, and I'm a lot of crashes. And my knees are just not what they used to be. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna let me see if I could do this with a pole. You know what I mean? <laughs> and yeah. I, you know, it, and like you said, it just it's just la- not so much laziness, but it was just kind of a little a kind of laziness, but also Whoa. necessity. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, man, you know what, no, I, save your back, like, yeah. save your knees. Yeah. Like, yeah. And when you're not, working, when, when you're working, thing. when you're working by yourself, when you're working by yourself every single day, like Mario, like does a lot of his commercial work, I think by himself. When you do a lot of your yeah. work by yourself, you figure out ways to make that shit faster and easier. You figure out a way to yeah. do that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You figure that out. So when people see me using a zero degree or they see me pulling low windows and shit like that, it's all because I'm trying to move quicker and save my body for the next fucking job because I yeah. got to get up tomorrow and do this shit again. I can't take Same a day off. Thing again. You know what I mean? Well, like like yeah. one of my guys, Mike, who's 100 pounds soaking wet, mm-hmm. if we're doing jobs exactly like you said with those low 18-inch by 3-foot bottoms, I'll do five tops, and when I clear the top out, I immediately get the the bottom, mm-hmm. then the top and the bottom. He'll he'll do all tops, and then I'm like, cause to me, to do twenty bottoms, you feel like you're on the ground for at like forty five <laughs> yeah, minutes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, I yeah. Can't do it. I can't do it. No, yeah. I can't. <laughs> and I tell you, now oh, that man. now that I've got a handy sleeve, that kind with the you know that. I mean that's taking my laziness to a whole another level. You know? <laughs> yeah. Hey man, yeah. if, if, if you produce, I mean, it's great that we work shit. smart now. Yeah. yeah. Well, it, Mario, do you just do commercial work? Or you, I I feel like I've seen yeah. videos of you doing like residential stuff. Is that with your I your do, buddy Alfredo or? No, I do eighty percent commercial because uh, the fifty dollar a week uh, stores and uh, because of my hair. Uh, you know, people stop me and, and hey, Mario, do you do uh, do you do houses? Say, yes. So I start getting a lot of commercial. Uh-huh. They say, can I touch your hair? Like, yes. <laughs> so I start getting. Dude, you should um, use your head as like the part of your shirt. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that would be uh, a brand. Yeah. That, like yeah, yeah you, you should brand yourself. Yeah, in the back. You should brand yourself yeah. for sure. For sure. Yeah, I'm, I was trying to do all that, but probably. Now that we're back to normal and everything, my my brain start working again. Right now, we're kind of. You don't want to know anything about anything. Yeah, depression yeah. kicks in. Don't, yeah. you know, it's, it's, it won't be long. Mario's babysitting will be shut down, and Mario's window cleaning will be open back up for business, bro. You know what I mean? It won't yeah. be long. Yeah, in July, probably, by July. Yeah. Because, yeah. yeah, I, yeah California's I, 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 crazy, I, I, man. California's crazy. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. Ex- they shut down forever. Me. That's why Mr. Philip, when he came to this town, he really liked it because they, they call it uh, Little Arizona because you know mm. and he's like we went to some mexican place and he was oh look there's only white people here he was so happy. <laughs> <laughs> no I, Ma- mario i was out in san jose for three months this winter hanging out kicking it and uh yeah, yeah. so i i liked san jose but like you walk around a little bit you see some shit that like no one talks about like yeah homelessness there is kind of fucking crazy like yeah. i thought it was I kind of until get... i went out there and then i was like oh but like i went out to Milipedis. i went out like a little bit further like a little bit north That's great. And, yeah uh, yeah yeah like it was like a whole new world 
when when we travel like 20 minutes outside the city though yeah that, that's the thing you know it's only like a a few holy spots yeah you know yeah like, yeah, yeah. yeah Oakland, hey. san francisco san jose yeah. mario you go a little bit north it's all different mario yeah mario um <laughs> mario <laughs> what are you lamborghini yeah what are my lamborghinis hey mario mike nichols said uh give him your address he'll mail you some guns <laughs> Oh, that'd be great, man. That'd be great. <laughs> Richie and I spoke hey. the other day. He's like, you, hey, he's like, hey, man, can you uh, can you mail me a shotgun? I'm like, fuck yeah, I'll mail you a shotgun. Hell yeah, why not? You know what I mean? Hell yeah, brother. Can you, hey, can you mail a shotgun? Is that possible? Dude. Is it legal yeah. to mail a shotgun? Uh, I don't know. You gotta look that shit up. I don't think. <laughs> I don't I, he, well, if he's, you can buy them online. Well, he if you said, buy them online. Yeah, but yeah. you're, Dude, you're you a dealer though. Sell certain soap. Yeah. You, you can't even sell certain soap right. in California because well, he it wants the shotgun yeah, yeah, and some exactly. shells. He wants you know a shotgun and some shells, and I don't think I can mail the shells. But I, you should be able to mail a shotgun, right? You should be able. Look, I'm we here trying to do. buy this one, TJ. Uh, it's K- <laughs> KS7. <laughs> That's a fucking bazooka. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> Dude, would, would you pay money to watch Mario and Mike Nichols go noodling? Fuck yes, dude. Oh, yeah. Fuck yes. I would. I would pay for your flight to Oklahoma. Yeah, it, to go it's Arkansas, that. but whatever. So, sometimes I laugh, but I don't understand. What's noodling? Um, noodling is where you you catch catfish with your hand. With your bare hand. hand. Well, no lure. Oh, you just like jam your hand in and you pull it out. Mike Nichols will That's do kinda, it like, in a bib and eating a burrito. Well, listen, like, he'll just you know what, to me, I mean, I respect both of them, and but I always think these guys who survive, you know, in the mountains, uh, Mr. Mike Nichols and Mr. Uh, the one in Washington, uh, your friend, oh, Jason, Jason Lehman. Jason, <laughs> Jason, Jason. Yeah. Jason. Yeah. Yeah. He oh, is man. <laughs> yeah. Listen. Yeah. They're like, to be, to and I, I was, I was always amazed the way uh, Mr. Jason cleans the window from a mile away. That's crazy. Yeah. This, is how he, this is how he cleans the window. Smash, 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 smash. smash, smash. smash. I, like, dude, he, he, he's like this brush broke. I'm like, yeah, no shit. <laughs> <laughs> he does a great job, but no, he's yeah. just slaying. Well, that's, that's, he, that's, he don't, that's, he don't he's make a no, bear. Yeah, he he's don't, a bear. He doesn't make any, uh, he doesn't make any uh, mince any words about it either. J- Jason's no, rough no. on his equipment. Listen. And I just want, before Lehman. you guys, before you go any further, I want to correct you. Uh, Mike Nichols does not noodle. He jugs. He jugs for catfish. They, oh, they jug he jugs for catfish. He's a okay. jug fisherman. He ties line okay. to jugs. That's how he does it. Guys, got to okay. get. He goes jugging. Now, go ahead, Mark. That's the way they catch alligators. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they do with alligators. Right. But, but uh, what was I going to say? Oh, I'm sorry, did I fuck you up? No, no, it's okay. It'll no, come back. Probably it's the time that you you hit somebody. I just I, one of these days I was remembering. I was trying to picture you running. In a club, when you say you threw somebody's French oh, fries the, in there. Oh, the French fries, yeah. I, 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 yeah, I, I was went to drop off that girl to a <laughs> I was, I was, um, <coughs> I was going up the stairs, and these guys were coming down, and he, and I bumped into the guy, and he called me an asshole, or he told me to fuck off or something. And I'm like, what'd you say? And he said, fuck off, and I just boof. Knocked the French fries right up against his chest. He was all dressed up. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey Mario, John. Are you running after that, huh? Hey Mario, John Sacco says you look like a younger uh, Marcelo, a Brazilian uh, soccer player. You look like Marcelo. Oh, Marcelo, yeah. yeah, he plays in Madrid. Yeah, <laughs> I'm older than him, so he kind of copied my style. <laughs> stole your shit, son. Stole my shit, dude. Yeah. You swagger jacked me. <laughs> hey, how do you guys read comments? Um. Well, oh, you mean uh. The, the live comments that are, people are commenting? Yeah. Um, uh, go on YouTube on your phone. Go on YouTube on your oh, phone, okay. watch, and you just watch. But you, I mean, that's, well, I get the comments. They come up on the feed here, yeah. but Mark and Seth, they just, they wa- follow along on their phones. They just shut the volume yeah, I off. I have another phone. screen back here that I can Yeah, they just shut the volume down on their phones or their computer yeah. and, and watch the yeah, chat. Yeah, I have, I have it right here. I just went, I just I don't think I can't, my, yeah. I don't think my brain can multitask. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but mine hey. barely can too. So don't worry about it, man. I'm in the. Hey, not for nothing, Mario. But you look like a guy that could learn how to do high rise. Yeah, I'd be great. So I, I have a picture that I, I did already in fish, but it wasn't the stage. I think they call it like yeah, a swing little, stage. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But they they told yeah. me, okay, we need to press the bottom to the same time. One, two, three. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> That's for, uh, I'm never in the chair. Yeah. yeah. 
I did yeah, that yeah. and I like it because I, I I was just speeding down, speeding, speeding. Yeah. And uh, I really like it, man. It's but they only they were paying only fifteen dollars an hour, so we need to be <coughs> eight hours to one hundred and twenty. And I was I just need to go back to the storefront. Right. Yeah, yeah, right. for the same money. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So Mario, I got a question for you. I mean, you're from you're you're uh, from El Salvador, correct? Salvador. Yeah. Yeah. Right, all right, and um, you're you're now an American citizen, correct? You got in on the Dream Act. Yeah. Dream. No, 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 DACA. no, no, I, 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 no, nothing. I did it myself the right way. I used to, because my, my mom and my dad, they worked for the government in El Salvador. So I, I was kind of in a good family, you know, like that's why I didn't have any kind of street because they had me in Catholic private school and stuff like that. Uh -huh. So when they got me my visa, I used to come here and, and, you know, I really liked United States. The only reason I wanted a visa is because I wanted to learn English to know how to sing uh, 50 Cent songs in 2003. Because <laughs> <laughs> you, you speak really summer. good English, though. You yeah. speak really good English for a second language, man. You yeah, speak you really, do really well. good. Yeah. I, 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 sh oh, I learn all my English in, in this. <laughs> Rocky? Jesus. <fucking laughs> yeah, yes. my boy. Hey, yeah, I have them all. Yeah, so when I, when I came here in 2000, because DMX and 50 Cent, they were like such a big things in El Salvador, uh -huh. and everybody, but nobody speak English, right? So I just wanted to learn. I said, Mom, I want to go to the United States to work in a, like a janitorial with my aunt. And I was making $50 a day for 12 hours. And that was great because El Salvador minimum wage is $5 a day. Mm -hmm. So to me, it was great. Right. And, uh, you know, I used to... Then I went back, paid my college for a year, then coming back another six months. But I just, uh, I didn't want to keep doing it. So I right. just stayed here. And then I went to, when the visa was about to expire, I used to go to TJ, uh, Tijuana, Mexico, and come back. So they used to give me another six months. But then, you know, I was cleaning offices and I, hey, you guys, uh, because before they were not GPS, they used to print MapQuest. Um, uh -huh. I don't know if you remember. Yeah. Yes. They gave me the address and uh, say, do you guys uh, call for office cleaning? And that my wife, she was 19 that time when you know, she was there and she speaks Spanish. So I, I make her laugh and everything. So, you know, we, two weeks we were uh, get going out and, you know, we decide to get married because we, we, it was kind of fast. It was great. We've been married for 12 years. We married after like one month of dating. And because wow. uh, I was 24 and she was 19, so I already, you know, I used to talk beautiful. I was yeah. more old, so yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, so yeah, that's, yeah, what, yeah. that's what that's what that's what us Americans like to call honey dicking. That's what we call yeah. it. <laughs> well, hey, hey, listen, one thing, Mario, that um, we have a lot of respect for you and we like you, but I gotta say, if DHS shows up right now and snatches your ass out of that room, we will laugh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's that? D D Division of Homeland but, Security. <laughs> yeah. Oh no 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 no. no. no Listen, uh, and so <coughs> I got married with her, and then uh, you know, like uh, I got my work permit because uh, you know I, she's a U.S. citizen, Can uh -huh. Canadian citizen, because she was born in Canada, Salvadorian parents, but they brought her here when she was like two years. So I got my work permit. Then I my big dream was wearing shorts because I can use a shirt with. You know, tie, yeah. for pants. So I say, I want to work in FedEx. That was my the biggest dream I ever had. I said, FedEx or window cleaning because because of the shorts <laughs> and because 50 cent. In 50 hey, cent. So, so I wanted to be listening a 50 cent. I wanted to listen a 50 cent when I was driving in short. That was my dream. So she found this uh, place, Fish Window Cleaning, and I. they never accepted me in FedEx. I've been... Uh, Almost one year trying to get there, they never got me because one hundred and fifty dollars a day for me, it was like, right? Yeah. So I was making eighty bucks a day. So when I, you know, I started working in fish, I saved some money, and then I become a U.S. citizen in two thousand fifteen. Right. And now I, I, I made a petition for my father and my brother. You know, it takes a lot of time and money, but you know, like everybody can do it. Like I didn't even speak English, and I, I mean, I'm not rich, but you know, everything is going to its place, doing it the right uh, way. If Mark, uh, if Mark Darnell yeah. will agree 
to allow Squeegee Life to do a Mark Darnell t-shirt, I will make one. But Mark Darnell has to agree. I can't just do That's a Mark Darnell t-shirt without Mark Darnell's permission. I, I will do, do I will do it. Yeah. We will do a special <laughs> chicken and peas Mark Darnell shirt if he allows it. And I'm not saying we're going to use the image of the chicken and peas, but, you know, we'll... You know, we'll just it'll... a pot, just a pot of chicken and peas in his face. <laughs> I'll buy one, like when he's eating some pork chops in the in the shower. Or the, in the... <laughs> <laughs> dude, dude, Mark Darnell's fucking great, dude. I love that yeah, dude. He's a good guy. I, like I him, hope dude. he goes to the huge convention. Hey, what is this guy? Your friend? Um, he was so funny, man. You have in the podcast, Rob Peloso. Yeah, yeah, Rob. Yeah. Where is he? Is he still around or? Yeah, uh, he was on the podcast about a month ago. Yeah. Uh, oh. Rob Peloso lives a very strange existence. Rob Peloso seems to be um, like he is so business focused like that. It, that is like oh, his, wow. his he's so consumed. And I think with everything that's going on in his area, he lives in the New, New York area with everything that's going on oh, there. I just shit. think that dude is so busy, you know, trying to, uh, you know, make that money while he can, you know what I mean? Because I think he's transitioned um, in this thing very, very quickly. To he's like doing the, a lot of sanitizing. Yeah. He's doing a I, lot I, I of sanitizing. He, I, I think he's a workaholic, too, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like that dude needs to work or, like, his mind starts spinning and yeah. he goes on the internet and posts a bunch of fucking weird shit, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like he needs he needs work, you know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, his accent is really cool. He's not. That's not a New York accent, right? That's a Jersey like, accent. Like, that's Jersey, yeah, he has New Jersey. Jersey accent. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's a it's, hybrid between. It's a hybrid between New York, Connecticut, and uh, Massachusetts. Yeah, that guy's funny, man. I think it's. Uh, I think it's real cool to like. Uh, you know, I see like guys like you, Mario and Diego uh, Garcia, guys that uh, come here from a different country and like really uh, like take on. The American spirit, you know, what I mean, I really, it's, 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 yeah. it's warms you up on the inside. Yeah, to to see someone that proud to be an American, it kind of, for me, it's like you know, it you you kind of when you when you're born here and you grow up here and you don't really, I'm not necessarily take it for granted, but don't really realize how good we've how, how good, good we got have, it. Yeah. Until you yeah, see like guys like Mario, like when you, good. yeah, you hear guys like Mario say, "All I want to do is make fifty dollars a day." You know, you yeah. know what I'm saying? To yeah. hear yeah. that, yeah. it's yeah. fucking inspirational as fuck. No, you know and, I mean? it, and it changes, like you know what I mean. Like I, I, what I love about this country too is like we're sitting here, people all different backgrounds, all different beliefs, sitting here mm. bullshit. Right. You know what yeah. I mean? There's not a, pl a lot of places in the world where you can do this shit. All, no. and, um, and to be here yeah. to do that, it's fun, man. Yep. I enjoy all the united, shit All united under the Squeegee Life banner here. Everyone just kind of just, you know, we all, um, we all identify with the, uh, uh, the struggle, which is the window cleaning life, you know what I mean. So we all yeah, kind of, yeah. you know what I mean. It's, it's. Uh, I never in a million years thought when when I started this, what two three years ago, that this was gonna be what it is now. You know what I mean? What it's turned into. I never thought in a million years that um, we'd be almost two hundred episodes in. Um, Richie and Mark would have came to my surprise me on my fucking fortieth birthday. I never in a million years would have thought any Mark, of this Mark, stuff was Mark ever going to happen. Mark grew a foot and a half, apparently. Yeah, Mark grew a foot. Dude, that fucking picture, <laughs> dude, was. I love. I did he, he lost his phone, right? Yeah, Richie yeah, lost his phone know. that day. Yeah. Dude, uh, when I opened up Facebook and I saw that picture of Mark, when he fucking like doubled himself, dude, that was the funniest yeah. fucking shit I've ever seen in my life. You can dude. tell it's like he like crosses up like three times. <laughs> yeah, see, like, mid chest, mid chest, mid chest. Right. Mark, yeah. Mark, you crop yourself yeah. three times. Mark the torso tanner. <laughs> torso like this. Yeah. Yeah, he looked like a little kid that's wearing a trench, like a trench coat <laughs> trying to get in a movie with another little kid. Oh, that's oh so yeah, funny. yeah, yeah. Oh, sir, I'd like to get in here. <laughs> Huh. Yeah, window cleaners right, unite. Great. I, Mario, can I ask you a personal question? Yeah, yeah, sure. Why do you love Trump so much? Because, uh, like you were saying, uh, I like I don't represent Hispanic 
me. I just represent my father's last name, and, and I, I never want to let my father's last name in a bad position, you know. I So I like, he teach me to earn things. I used, I remember in El Salvador, I used to, hey, dad, my friends uh, are buying Reebok in the 96, 95, and Fila. Uh-huh. Can, can you buy me a pair of those? And my, my dad did raise me, like, you know, like, good. But he's like, you know, fuck you. When you work, you get your own shit. He used to buy me the cheapest shoe that I used to hide it on my backpack because I was embarrassed. So he, he kind of raised me that way. And they only buy you one pair of shoes a year in, by Christmas. Mm. So that pair of shoes needs to last you the whole year. Yeah. So I used to, I say, when I go to the United States, I'm going to buy, uh, that's why I still buy Reebok and Fila. Even everybody from here, they say, that shit sucks. That was my big dream. And, and, and I see I, I like the kind of people who likes to earn things and don't blame anybody else. So when when Mr. Trump came and say, hey, you know, uh, all the kind of stuff he said when he was a candidate, I say, you know, I like it because 99 percent of my people start acting like, oh, he look us down. No, poor Hispanic. And no, you know, I can do everything. I don't even speak English and I, I can live uh, five months without working because this great nation, yeah. you know, you can do whatever you want as long right. as you put some work. So right. I don't like the people who, who say like, oh, you know, I'm not talking other people, just Hispanic. You know, I feel oppressed because they racist. No, I can w- make the same amount of money for a black person, a white people, like anybody, right. you know. Yeah. We all have the freedom. and, and opportunity. Really like that kind you, of, you, you, you're, yeah, the that's opportunity. Right. Everyone yeah. in America, in whether... Yeah. should have the opportunity well everyone does have the opportunity um yeah it, the, even the if diff- you don't have paper you might not you might yeah you people. yeah you might not have an equal opportunity in some situations but you at least have an opportunity you know what i'm saying no, and there's always opportunity you can go from like i always tell people you can jump two classes in a generation right mm-hmm. so you can go from like lower middle class to upper middle class you can go from yeah, like poor yeah. mm-hmm. to middle class you know what i mean and yeah. like you hope your kids can jump there right like you you like the american dream to me is like yo like my kids are going to be better off than i am right you know what i mean if yeah. i park hard if i do the right thing if i treat people right like all that shit right and in a lot of other places, that's not even an option. You know what I mean? Like right. so we yeah. work to have that option. You know, to yeah, kind of that, jump. That's what I like him because I saw all my family before he was president crying and whining already. And, and you know, the, you need to have that kind of spirit. That, let's say the harder it gets, you know, the more, uh, you know, like you need to push forward. And, right. But with Mr. Trump, he hasn't done anything bad against Hispanic. I I never have seen something. Even if he say tomorrow Salvadorans are pieces of shit, it doesn't affect me at all. He's not touching me, you know. I keep keep working. It doesn't affect me. That's why I I start liking him just to go against the people of my family that they you guys are just making excuses. Yeah. Not to you guys haven't done anything in life saying, Oh yeah, because people is racist here. No. You know, everybody can do the same thing. Even and like TJ say, not in every situation, but even in El Salvador. It's not 100% equal, you know, that's right. in every country. It's not right. USA fault. It just, but right. you can do whatever you want to do, you know? Right. And, right. and you have and an awesome that's why I like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and I, you know, and that's really the main reason why I wanted to have Mario on the podcast because I feel like the Mario, and, you know, unfortunately, we're kind of taking Mario's mask off because. Uh, people are gonna realize that he's not. He's he's actually a really yeah, good dude. Fun, he's he's a actually a really good, good dude. Yeah, yeah. Fun actor. Like yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, like he like uh, like about a year ago. Uh, like you know, like around March, uh, the winter last year. Mar- me and Mario were really fucking going at each other. You know, busting each other's balls. And he said, um, he he said something to me on Facebook. I said something to him. We kind of got into a little bit of a tift. And then, like, I don't know, maybe like an hour later, the phone rings from fucking California. And I'm like, who the fuck is this? And uh, yeah. I answered the phone. He's like, hey, Mr. TJ. I was like, Mr. TJ. And I'm like, yeah. who is this? He's like, it's Mario. I'm like, hey, what's up, Mario? He goes, you know, I'm just fucking with you. I'm just messing around. I'm like, what? Because I'm just messing around. I'm just having a laugh. And I'm like, you motherfucker. Yeah. And then we start... <laughs> We start talking, and I get to know. I'm like, man, this fucking dude is cool as fuck. He's a really good dude. He's a fa- he's a he's a family man. He's a really good dad. He busts his fucking ass, 
and uh, he just likes to, kids yeah, out yeah, got too. the kids out there. He yeah. just, he just funning around, and that was the main reason why I wanted to get him on here is because you're a good dude. That, yeah, you're inspirational, man. And that's why I call, I call, uh, uh, how do you call the guy from San Diego, the maker one, uh, Richie Blue. Mm-hmm. I call him too to apologize for some bad comment I made. Uh, I call uh, Luke the window cleaner. Luke the window cleaner was was the only one who was like, what? What do you want? Huh? <laughs> so you, you know, so you're, you're, uh, you only uh, ask him, uh, you only apologize him because, uh, blah, blah, blah. I mean, he was, right. but I, I understand everybody right. has different reactions. Everybody right. else, you know, took it, you know, because my son was going through some things. I just wanted to be great and uh, just to, you know, try to try. I just like people who likes to earn things. Yeah. I don't like yep. people who want free things. That's, that's yeah. what it is. Right. No, I, I, that's I, I like thing. your mentality, man. Like, well, you you certainly yeah, like, live in an area where everybody wants shit for free. <laughs> yeah, that's where, like, no, it's not where he yeah. lives. Not where he lives. Not where he. Not no. not yeah. Simi Valley. Simi Valley is a whole yeah. new world, man. Yeah. Well, I'm. I'm. Yeah. My question is this. Yeah. My question is this, Mario. With everything, in light of everything that's going on, have you have you considered at all not living in California anymore? Yes, we're buying a property in in Arizona. It's just a desert. They're like. 60 acres mm-hmm. we're gonna be paying 450 dollars a month and it has a like a trailer i mean we're not living there now but when i i want to retire when i'm 50 years old i'm 37 but I, i'm kind of when i'm 50 i want to have it half paid in case the price go they go up and i just want to live in like uh like my mr michael nichols i just want to shoot Beers and stuff like that. <laughs> and <I'm old. laughs> I fucking love it, man. I fucking love yeah, it. Yeah, I, I, I. That's why we're because uh, it's impossible buying a house here. It's a uh, three bedroom, seven hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. So I just wanna. My kids will grow, and then probably they're not gonna wanna be with me because I'm gonna be telling them, "Hey, tell your wife not to put some short things." And, you know, <laughs> so they're gonna be. <laughs> Well, kind of person. it's going to be increasingly difficult to be an entrepreneur in California. It's it's just going to get worse and worse yeah. and worse. Um, you yeah, know, I see, I see, well, I see, I see what's going on with in California right now with Mario and with Richie, and my heart <laughs> goes out to him because we were all in the same boat there for a little while you know every one of us were like fuck man what are we gonna do and now i'm out cleaning windows like i'll be honest man i don't even feel right shooting youtube videos i feel like shit it's like man i'm out here earning and doing my fucking thing and i got my 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 friends are fucking sitting at home with their thumbs in their asses watching you know what i mean it sucks man no but trust me trust me i've been waiting for uh the video of uh, zero uh zero x2 i've been always checking to see because you know like yeah, dude, you well, no, you can I, tell Mario goes deep cut. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, off of his responses, I'm like, dude, you've watched everything. Yeah, huh? dude, no, no, no. Yeah. There's and, not anything like everything. the French fries when he talked about Mark spilling the French yeah, that fries. Was on over that, a year ago. Yeah, dude, he don't. Yeah. I'm telling I've you, never, this guy don't miss shit, dude. There ain't nothing. He don't miss it. No, you ain't sliding past no, Mario. No, 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 no. He's consuming yeah. it. Yeah, That's right. Yeah. I with you. I've been waiting for. Go ahead. I've been waiting for you. Your video from you know. That's all right, but um, I was kind of mad at some people in March. Who everybody was struggling, like, no, I'm good. I never stopped working. You know, like, <laughs> yeah, it was kind of too yeah. soon. Now it's great. I mean, well, I, I think I agree with you, man, because there, there for a minute, there's a lot of dudes like on the internet, like, oh man, this is the best it's ever been. D- man, all right, yeah. dude, fuck you, man. Not for everybody. Not for everybody, not for everybody asshole. Everybody, you know, what I mean, everyone's. I mean, most ninety percent of us out here are fucking struggling. I don't need you on Facebook talking about how you're the yeah. fucking man, fifty grand. Yeah, yeah. I saw a post. It was pressure washing related. Yeah. Since since COVID, have you guys considered lowering some prices just to get some work and keep it now? My price is my price. If they don't like it, fuck off. Yeah. Dude, bullshit. You don't have a hungry family at yeah, home, motherfucker. Yeah, 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 right, right. Yeah. Right. I be I, I offer my customer a free uh, free first cleaning. Now when they open I told them I'm gonna do it for free, you know, so you guys uh get ready and I'm gonna charge them to the end of June for three services. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. know? Because uh that uh, like Attach you more with the customer. Is hey, look Loyalty. at this guy. Well, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, well, and it, yeah. you, they, that also that that's gonna build a, a good rapport. You know, like Mark was yeah. like Mark was doing, and uh, Tim did, and I did some as well. You go out and 
throw a, throw an e, like a, 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 a window cleaning on your, your existing customers. It's not going to take you that much time. You've been doing them yep. for other. It's not going to hurt to give them one window cleaning, no. stuff a ticket in the door and be like, this one's on me. I can't wait. You know, yeah. you know give me a call when you get back and we'll get back to things uh, as business yeah. as usual. Yeah. That's the smart thing to do, Mario. Smart. No, it, yeah. it's, 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 it's the right thing to do, too. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you're good to your customer, they'll be good to you. Right. Uh, Mike Nichols, though, told Mario that he has a house in Oklahoma. Oklahoma yeah. that you can stay at. So. <laughs> that's yeah. that's close to go well, Texas, go right? Jug. Yeah, that's close to Texas, yes. Yeah. yeah. It, it's probably it like 10 hours from you, 15, something oh. like. As long as it's not as cold as where TJ lives, because I remember TJ was recording more than two hours waiting for Mark to fell on the ice. <laughs> yeah. I don't like that. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. more north than TJ is, and it's fucking cold where yeah. TJ lives. Like, yeah. I live up at the fucking end of America, and I'm like, where well, TJ lives is fucking cold. I just, where do you live? Where do you I live? live in Massachusetts. He lives in Connecticut. Austin. No, don't you dare. Oh, so TJ lives <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Lives in Fuck you, bro. <laughs> There's nothing as a... Is it there? Massachusetts or New York, there's nothing yeah, in the yeah. middle. I, I, live in, I live in Boston. So My oh, area man. is not unusually cold. What is unique about my area is I live right on the shore of Lake Erie. And that's what makes it unique. It is fucking like that north wind across that big ass lake. That's what makes it unique. Yeah, it's you know. Canada. Yeah, yeah water, it's Canada, water, water me. You know, it's... Yeah. it's yeah. 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 What I like about the residentials you do, TJ, is that I, I barely see screens in the outside. Like the one you post today with the rocks. Yeah. Oh, that, I'll be wild. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, well, there's some... screens, too. That's my dream job. Yeah, that's my there's, dream. there's, yeah. trust me, there's... I, I feel like I want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> He's speaking. Uh, let me, talking, uh, you man. know, uh, that's something we haven't talked about for a while. What? So you guys, well, not you, Mario, but TJ and, and Seth primarily residential if you're going to climb up to take a screen why don't you just bring a squeegee with you and watch the fucking window no no so so it depends right like so it it, it matters right if you have 75 cut up windows i will go the i'm already going inside oh yeah 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 yeah. i'm already climbing inside the windows i'm pulling that shit out if it's if it's one over ones i'm flipping them in if it's casements then i'm going outside and i'll get on a ladder i'll pull it it all depends like today I had a job that was 56 over ones mm. cut ups and they were beat to shit. And so I sold the screen cleaning so I could take them out just because I wanted to use my water fed pole. So I pull right. the ladder yeah. up to the window. Uh, to like, me, I was like, yeah. to me shit. personally, in my opinion, if I have to get on a ladder to take a screen out, I'm cleaning the fucking window while I'm up there. Yeah, yeah. 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 If there, you're not I'm washing doing. the screen, put that shit on a chip. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, yeah. that's why I sold it today. I didn't want to do it. It was yeah. hot. It was on the. It was on the ocean. <laughs> most of the My, time, uh, most of the time, in the houses, most of the houses that I do are normally interior screens or like casement crank out windows. Most all of the them. Time, man. Most. I of wish, them. man. I wish. But yeah, there are. I, I still do a oh, shitload. I do a no, shitload I, I of double hungs. Do. I do a shitload of double hung windows with screens on the outside. I just don't do a lot of video with it because I'm always pissed off. <laughs> no, but yeah. I, I saw it. No, you do it on first floor windows. I noticed if you have one over ones with screens, you do them on first floor videos and you pop them from the outside and you do a good job. Like, I'm like, you're better than me. I'm in there like, fuck it. If I bend it, I bend it. Like, yeah. Like, if you're not popping the tab, like, fuck you. Yeah. Like, Let me ask you a question. You ain't helping if the, me out. If the I screens come me. out, if the screen, do you, do you ever tell a customer pull the second story screens yeah yeah i mean i would yeah. never I, no, no. Not, no. I, i'll tell never. you to push like if you got double lock screens i'll ask you to unlock one that's what i do I, oh. that's what i do yeah. it, it, so, if, yeah, like if you got five, screens four, on four, yeah if you got screens on pop one unlock one corner slide it out to that that white tab hits the the bottom of the window and it sits out yeah. a little bit and I've got you. You know what I mean? Even, but, even, even if you don't do that, like, mm-hmm. if you unlock it, I can get a five-in-one in there. I right. can pop it out or, a, like, a painter's But 90% of the player. time, 99% of the time, if I'm coming to clean your windows, I'm taking your screens out for you. I don't ask, like, hey, take your screens yeah. out. I don't well, ever no, do it, that. It, it, unless it, they're not going to be home. Yeah, yeah unless they're not going to be home. let me ask you a question. You ever put the screens in so that you can get them out easier the next time? I, I don't know if there's All the a time. way. I, I don't know yeah. if there's a way to do that. Yeah, really. yeah. People, people, people put their screens in the basement for me. So like, I'll wash them in the fall, 
and they'll wait till pollen season's over here, and then they'll have me come clean that's the windows and be like, "Hey, can you put the screens that's what in?" I do. Oh, that's like, great. The windows. I'm like, "Yeah, I get that's a, fine." I've got a lot of customers yeah. that yeah, I've had I for years because I will take their screens down in the fall, give them a window cleaning inside and out. We'll stack the the wash screens in their garage or basement. They'll call me back in the spring to clean their windows on the outside and put their screens back in. For Dude, them. You, you basically guarantee twice I'm coming a year back. Cleaning. You know what I mean? Like, you know, when you yeah. take the screens out, like, they're not putting them back in. They're yeah. calling yeah. just back in. Yeah, and I actually least, recommend it. I'm like, your windows are stay cleaner and longer in the wintertime if you keep the screens out. I do say the same damn thing, right? Which is the they're truth. Not off, yeah. not gonna get, no, it is true, but it does guarantee you a second cleaning. You know what I mean? Oh, show. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, I always like to uh, ask you guys this. Um, you know <laughs> I used to watch a podcast before with Tim Huber, and I hope he doesn't get mad Oh, this thing, the 49 cent thing. I don't know if you guys can hear me. No, we can still hear you. Good. 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 It lasts a long time for 49 cents. I'm going to put the other 49 cents. <laughs> right here. This is great. My am for it to get a quick punch and be like, That's fuck it. Like, <laughs> you, know, you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, yeah you're yeah, good. Yeah, you're good. Oh. Uh, you know, when you have some jobs coming, like you say, TJ, you have some uh, buildings and stuff, or you mark with restoration, yeah. you can you keep the fire of you wanting to go work because you are waiting on the money, you know, like mm -hmm. after you get paid, you know, it's worth it. Yeah. But will you guys, guys have the fire if you guys will be like Tim Huber, he gets paid like some days before and then he needs uh, to go yeah, to work? Yeah. I will. No. I know exactly what you're saying. We've yeah. discussed this before. Yeah. I have a job at the end of the year. It's a building, okay? And it yeah. pays a lot of money to me. And they'll always call me up and go, hey, we got extra money in the budget. I need an invoice dated for 2020. And we'll be going into 2021, right? So I'll invoice them in November. And they know I'm not getting in there until January. So that money's already spent. Now I got to go do it. It sucks. Oh. It sucks. Yeah, it's See, a I'm, mental thing. I, I, yeah. I'm with you on that. It's I don't hard. know. I don't know how Tim does that. Collects on a job before he does it. Oh, it's, no. I, I don't know how he stays motivated. Tim yeah. is a, well, I, Tim I, is I, a I special like individual. His his yeah. business model is fucking cool. I just don't know how he does that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, he has, oh, he has to charge more, but yeah, yeah like it's I all like mental. It. Tim's got Tim has got a good mental game when it comes to doing windows yeah. because. Well, I, but you I, know what? I, I, I also think like he's used to doing that. That's you know what true, I mean? Yeah. It's anything. If you do anything for a year or two, you're just like if you saw the nature. way I did things, TJ, you'd be like, Oh, I wouldn't do it that way, like blah blah blah. Or right. if I saw the way you did things, right? But like you get used to your system, you get used to like how you sell jobs. Right. And for him, apparently that's what works, but like that's gonna suck like when you get hung over and you're like, eh, I don't really yeah. wanna fuck. Oh, yeah. Shit. yeah, you yeah, fucked you up yeah, you fucked like... up baby already. <laughs> Well, yeah, but see, here's the thing. I, I've i been open about this. I chase money, okay, because I'm strictly commercial, mm -hmm. okay? I have, I, I would say 50 to 60% of my accounts pay within 15 days, okay? <laughs> I don't invoice as I go unless it's a one-off thing, a restoration or, or, or um, something smaller. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah or, or I just did it one time. I'm never going back. I immediately send them an invoice. But all my invoices go on the 25th of the month because there's the, it's the last week of the month, okay? Mm -hmm. And we stuff envelopes here. I send out about 300 invoices, about 50 get emailed, and we're trying to move everybody over to email because, believe it or not, this might sound like I'm a cheap ass, but – I buy the I buy the good envelopes. You don't have to fucking lick them. Right. So by the time I, I an envelope a stamp for another fifty right, cents. Right. I mean it's costing me a dollar to send yeah. out. You know, yeah, or man, close to like, it. You, and then you, I have to do the work. But, I like it. Yeah. Exactly. Like but it. see, I chase money because of that. But I always know I can go to my QuickBooks right now and see how much I got on the street. Right. And know I got enough money to carry me for the next five months, even if I went out of business tomorrow morning and if yeah. people paid me. But if I was in the rears, like I enjoy going to the mailbox and getting the money. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And like that's yeah. the satisfaction I get is that yeah. I get to take their money. They You're might also give shit. used to that. You're yeah, used that's to the that. only that's, way I know. That's, that's the only way that's I know. Yeah. No, no I, I know guys that 
collect every time they do the job commercially. Yeah, I know. Every time. Like, that's my, like, when I talk to, like, call Jennifer throughout the day, my first phone call to Jennifer, the first thing that comes out of my mouth is, are there any checks in the mail? That's, you know, yeah. I just, yeah. it's like, you know, yeah. you know, and there's nothing better than that surprise check. Like, oh, shit, uh, I forgot. Uh, oh, I oh, forgot yeah, I did yeah. that I job. Hey, yeah, yeah. 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 So, I'm, I'm a fucking bully, dude. <gasps> I'm a bully. Like, I will not leave your fucking house. I will not leave your house. You're like, yeah, oh, you're I just... have to do this. I'm like, yeah, like, you can either give me a credit card right now or I'm waiting to, for you to bring me the cash back. I'll sit in the fucking driveway. Like, I I, will, like, <laughs> yeah, like, I, I, have, I, have, I have I have a property management company I work for. They're like, we're not 30. I'm like, oh, that's cool. So you can put this job in on June 1st and I'll claim it on June 27th and then you're going to hand me a fucking check. Because I'm not leaving this property without a check because right. I don't trust motherfuckers. I don't... Like, uh, I just won't do it. Commercial like, work? Won't. Commercial work? Uh, you're, that that mind frame just won't work in commercial. No. You'll uh, never survive. You'll never survive. I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not big enough, but, but I will tell you one thing. I've gotten my, a few property management companies know how I roll. On that, and that's that's all I need. Well, like if I'm doing a bunch of Wendy's, like I hear you. You know what I mean? Like my, it's, it's just. Oh, I do have a caveat to that. Residential window cleaning. If I've never done your windows before, if this is the first time I've ever cleaned your windows, you're gonna be there to pay me. Yeah. yeah. And I've lost this, plenty. I've uh, lost plenty of jobs because they're like, "Well, I can't be there when you're gonna be there." I'm like, "Well, then I'm not doing it then." Yeah, you know what I mean? Because like, I'm my, not. Because like, there's can, nothing can, worse than trying to get a fucking check from a residential. No, I, yeah. I, I, I will, I will. This could be the tenth time I've cleaned your house. And I'll tell them I that. And, no, I and I'll, not, now see, I'm, now me personally, if I've developed a rapport with you and we've done your windows a couple times, I'll we can do it on the honor system, you know. But you, yeah. you got to pay me. The first time I clean your windows, I need that money. I need to see you. We, you need to see me. You see the tattoos, the ball heads. You know there's a fucking nine millimeter under my driver's seat. You yeah. know that I'm getting fucking paid. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. After yeah. that, yeah. after you you've met me and I, we've spoken, you know who I am. I know who you are. Then we can do the honor system. The next time, I'll clean your windows if you're not home, and I'll leave a fucking invoice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I've learned the hard way, just like with Seth. You go, you do a fucking window job. I did this giant fucking house, man, giant house. Spent fucking almost eight hours at this place. I've ne I still, to this day, have never gotten a paycheck from that guy. Oh, I, I, yeah. I will tell you, two years ago, I, I went to... And it's always the motherfuckers with money. Oh, yeah. It was $30,000 oh, yeah. that year I didn't get paid. I didn't get paid. Oh. And I changed my whole motto because I was like, I can't fucking operate like this. Yeah. $30,000 was like, you know, four or five weeks. That's a guy. That's, that's one of your yeah, guys' just, fucking salaries, like, you know what I mean, yeah, for a you year. Know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I was like, so now. I feel like I'm not Josh, the window cleaner, who comes in and, like, will punch an Indian dude in the face. <laughs> yeah. But I'm pretty close. Like, Got I her. Ooh, you which either, one? You either have a credit card. On, like, we just call people now, like, oh, you're not going to be home. We need a credit card on file. Right. Like, you know what I mean? And then we process it to make sure it's legit. Right. And then we just don't run. Like, because I get fucked. I don't know if this happens to Mark. Like, with dealing with buildings and stuff, you're trying to build a reputation. Like, I'm doing a $300 job. Somebody will just tell me to go fuck off, and there's really not much I can do about it. You know well, what I mean? I, like, I'll tell you this. Take a small claim score for 300 bucks. Yeah, like, I'm not going to yeah, do it. Contracted jobs, like a building for me, I can tell you with 98%, uh, that, you know, maybe there's something I don't remember, but 98%, I can honestly say I have never been fucked on a contracted maintenance washing job. Like, if it goes four times a year, it's five grand of cleaning. 20 grand a year never have a problem all my buildings are there everybody's net 30 and the buildings generally pay in 15 days my car dealerships for some reason now car dealerships are cheap they don't want to spend a lot of money but guess what my wife will email 15 car dealerships out and within five to seven days they're 80 percent of them are paid <laughs> diego's hilarious he goes the place burned down fuck you pay me lightning struck <laughs> fuck you pay me slow business fuck you pay me i'm with you on that yeah. my dude <laughs> uh, yeah I, I just I, I can't like i i walked into a place last year so there was a company i'll put them on blast right it's a mercantile property management company <laughs> I work for them uh -huh. i i washed i washed a roof for them 
It was ten grand. I was there for fucking seven days. I paid all these dudes out. I paid all the equipment Damn. out. Just taking the third down. I didn't. I kept calling the guy. I'm like, Jeff, like, when are you going to pay me? Jeff, when are you going to pay me? Jeff. It took six months. I walked in the office. I'm like, I'm going to knock the fuck out in this office <laughs> if I don't get my money now. And they're like, we'll cut you a check, like, next week. I'm like, nah. I'm like, I'm not leaving your office. Like, mm-hmm. I'm not walking out till mm-hmm. you hand me a fucking check. Yeah. The second he gave me a check, I never did work for him again. Like, I was just like. Well, I walked I'm, away. Don't get me wrong. If I fight to get paid and you're a brand new customer and yeah. I and, and you don't give this me. This is a customer I had a long time, too, and they just yeah. fucked. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, That's I had a, I picked up a, a high end furniture store, and I, dude, it took seven months to get paid. And then, when I finally got paid, they called the answering service like a week later, saying we want a price for you to come clean the windows. And I'm like, wait a minute, you're so fucking stupid. I've been fighting with you on the phone or emailing you to get paid five hundred dollars for the cleaning, five hundred bucks for mm. seven fucking months. Now you want to? Now you know. That I'm not coming back, but you're looking to to replace me with me. You understand what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Because you're so fucking stupid, you're not even looking at at, at anything. You know? Yeah, no. That, it, that, that's why I, I I always uh remember your father, Mark. I would like somebody to have a camera to see your dad sitting on the office. Yeah. Well, he wouldn't leave, <laughs> dude. You got a great memory. Listen, Holy man. Shit. I tell you what, dude. Yeah. Um, you're not yeah. getting shit past Mario. I'm telling you, there ain't nothing yeah. to get past him, dude. I even throw like like subtle shade on him on in YouTube videos, and he would fucking send me messages like, "Why are you talking shit, bro?" <laughs> Yeah. You, don't get, yeah. you don't get nothing past Mario. But yeah, Fernando, that was like, I like, uh, it's always the motherfuckers with money. Like Coach Mike Patin, the former head coach yeah. of the Cleveland Browns. I cleaned oh, yeah. his, fucked you. I he that. fucked me for almost a year. And I fucking, you know what I did? I started a Twitter account, followed him on fucking Twitter and started fucking uh, sending Blast tweets him. at him, blasting him on yeah. Twitter. Like pay yeah. your f- and he paid you? Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. It wasn't it wasn't not but maybe four or five days later a fucking check showed up at my house after I started yeah. blasting at Mike at Mike Petton. But you pay know your what? fucking window like, cleaning bill, you isn't fucking, it fucking loser. Sad. It's fucking <laughs> sad that you have to do that to Yeah, paid. fucking bullshit, man. But see, like I said, the one thing that I miss, I was talking to a a, a, a friendly competitor that I know for twenty five years today mm-hmm. about this exact subject was when they, you know, when they don't pay, I used mm-hmm. to just say to, I'm gonna put the dirt back on. Nice. Okay, I, I told you I put a fucking 15 foot soapy dick on the guy's fucking windows right. that you could see from across the street because <laughs> right. he didn't fucking pay me. Right, right. right. The, the problem is now you mm-hmm. can't do that anymore. Mm-hmm. Everybody has a fucking camera. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And I tell you yeah. this, I tell you this, I've had instances where, um, like Seth, I, you know, a guy was. Uh, uh, the mall here. Um, uh, there's a mall here in town that I used to do, and you know, I'll be honest. I, you know, I do everything myself, so it kind of escaped me that they hadn't paid me for like four or five fucking months. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it finally it just dawned on me. I'm going through my, uh, yes sir, Diego. Um, I'm like uh, going through my my invoices and shit. I'm like, man, these motherfuckers. When's the last time? So I go. Start looking at my deposits. I'm like, man, these motherfuckers ain't paid me in forever. So I start calling. I start chasing this guy around for this fucking money. You know what I mean? I'm like, you know, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth with this guy. And finally, you know, I was like, listen, I was like, Mike, you got to, you know, you got to, I need paid. I was like, I'm not, I can't clean the windows no more. You're behind like six payments. I need paid. You owe me like $800. And he's like, "Well, you'll get your money when I when I fucking get it to you," is what he said oh, to yeah. me. And yeah. I'm like, "Okay." So yeah. I let it go for another thirty days, and I called him. Fuck you, Seth. Anyways, <laughs> I he I fucking I call him, and I'm like, "Listen, I'm gonna bring an invoice by." I said, um, "I'm gonna leave it there." Um, you know, la da 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 da. Um, and he's like, "Well," I was like, "Listen, if I don't get fucking paid today." Um, we're going to have a fucking serious issue. I'm like, I'm going to come and I'm going to sit in the fucking lobby at your fucking office until I'm fucking paid. And I'll do that tomorrow too. I said, I'm, I'm fucking, I employ myself. I will waste my own time. I will waste my my own fucking time to get this money. And he's like, I'll mail you it. He goes, I'm at, he goes, I'm at the office now. I'll mail you a check today. I said, nope. Don't even bother. I'm on my fucking way right now. 
Yeah. I fucking dropped everything I was fucking doing, and then within 10 minutes, I was in that oh, motherfucker's man. office and got that oh, yeah. check right there. I, I've uh, never honestly, done another job have, for him, though. No respect for me as a person if you don't hold your end of the bargain up. You know what I mean? So at that right. point, I'm just like, I'm save, fucking with you. Say, yeah, so, save your fucking stamp in your envelope. I don't want again anyways. Save, yeah. save your stamp and envelope. I'm going to fucking, I will be there directly. He, I don't yep. think he's like, well, you know, if I don't see you within the next hour, I'm just going to put it in the mail. Ten minutes later, I'm standing right in fucking front of him. And I told him, yeah. I was like, you know, I've been doing, I've been, I've been working. I do, I used to do the interior skylights. My cousin Mike um, would uh, provide them. I, he would, I would rent the, my, my cousin Mike would give me the lift. You have to have special booties on the lift tires because... Yeah. The, that had those stick down carpet squares throughout the whole oh, mall. Oh, so when you yeah. turn, if you turn with rubber tires, it'd peel them, tear up. them up. So yeah. you have to have them slick. So when you turn the tires, it you know it wouldn't tear the carpet up. Yeah, I would always allow them motherfuckers to use the lift that that whole day before because I used to do it at night. They would use it. Um, you know, an hour or so before I would get there, they'd change their lights, do high dusting, whatever they wanted to do. I said I've always been fair to you, and I said. All these years of doing all this work for you, the way you fucking talked to me on the phone the other day, over $800, not something, it's not like I'm not doing what you're paying me to do. I said, I always go above and beyond. I said, anyone else, I'd slap them in the fucking mouth right now. Um, and, and, and Mike doesn't work there anymore. He retired. He was an older guy. But, you know, if you're having a fucking bad day, you know, that's cool. But, you know, you ain't got, don't take that shit out on me. I, I'm from, you know, I'll fucking slap the shit out of you. I, I don't when like my that old shit. Man, well, look, I'll give you. A, I got a couple here for you. But when I worked with my old man, mm -hmm. I mean, I was probably twenty years old, and uh, if a customer didn't pay and he knew he was getting fucked, one day we pull up to this. It was like a um, law office, right? And he's like, "We're not cleaning them today." He goes, As a "Matter of fact, we're not cleaning them again." And I'm like, "Oh, okay." He goes in the back of the fucking car, grabs a pair of pliers, right? And I see him take his fucking old key out of his pocket, right? I go, what the fuck are you doing? He takes the key, puts it in the pliers, sticks it in the lock. Of course, it's not a key that fits that fucking lock, right? Mm -hmm. And he fucking jam it in and he'd snap the motherfucking lock, <laughs> right? And he'd go, he go, he look at me, he goes, this motherfucker's not working today. Yeah. <laughs> I swear to God. Yeah. I swear to God, he's the I, fucking uh, lock. Um, I, uh, one of the guys that I used to, uh, used to temp, uh, we used to sub him out for uh, high, you know, like rope work and shit. He he said they they would they would fucking <laughs> they would uh they they would if a building didn't pay they'd go turn all the fucking water on and just let the fucking oh, water yeah. run. They just let the fucking water run on those motherfuckers. Oh, dude, let the water run overnight, like eight hours overnight, just water fucking running, you fucking bastards. <laughs> I had a yeah, I had a country club, PGA National, right, for years. I was I cleaned it. it was a thousand dollars a month for once a month service. It took two guys pretty much a full day. It was a hump, but it's still a thousand dollars every single month. They were <coughs> terrible payers, fucking terrible. I knew when I got the job, I'm like, this place should not ever be dirty. Man, who can suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> well, he go ahead. Sorry, he, he, go ahead. He's just funny. Yeah, I like it, but fuck him. <laughs> I walked into this job knowing that this is a prime job. And there's a reason it's fucking dirty. And mm -hmm. within six months, I figured out because they're very they're slow not, at paying. Yeah. So we started with the mail, right? I used to mail them a bill. It'd go three months. I'd get one, you know. Mm -hmm. Then it, I'd go the next time. And I needed the work. I'm not going to lie. I needed that $1,000. So th I'd go into the um, – then I'd start emailing an invoice, right? That wasn't working. Then I'd physically walk into the bookkeeper physically and give her the invoices. Okay, I'll take care of this. <clears throat> so one day I walk in there, they owed me about five grand, five fucking months of window cleaning. And this was when I was pretty much done with it. I go, um, here's the, win the window cleaning invoices. She goes, well, you know, the windows don't look so good. I go, you owe me $5,000. I said, the bucket's not coming out of the truck today. I said, I need to be paid. She looks right up at our desk and she goes, you don't think you're leaving here with a check today, do you? And I go, well, if you want your windows cleaned, you're going to have to pay me. I said, because I'm really getting done with this. And she's like, well, why don't you email it? I go, I've emailed it. I've dropped it off to you personally. Right. I've mailed it. Attention to you. I go, you guys just, we're not working well together. So 
the manager calls me. He's like, Mark, I'll make it right. We want to keep you happy. I understand your frustration. You know, it's always a new pay system. It's always right. some bullshit, right? Always something, yeah. I stick it out, and they start paying. They, they pay it's me a back. Lie. Yeah, it is a lie because it goes back to the way it was. But again, Seth, I needed the money. $1,000 a month when you have... It's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him with that... I got a new microphone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you still ain't like shit. You ain't it still ain't like using it for some reason, right? You're still not using it right. You're still not using it right. It's got to be Backwards. like this. It's got to be facing you like this, man. And it's got to be straight up and down. You got it all. You, 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 you're not Joe Rogan. Just fix it. How's that? Yeah, a lot that? better, you fucking nerd. What are you drinking, Seth? Bud Light and Fireball. It was a little thing. Oh, I was doing shots of uh, McGillicuddy's. Jesus, what a fucking drunk. <laughs> You're just like my sister. Uh, my sister's this is my new, night new to drink, dude. Like, I come on here, right. I'm like, ah, oh, I drink tonight. Yeah. She's just like my sister. Need house, uh, she just got married uh, two weeks ago. Uh -huh. Jesus, he looked like him, and <laughs> second, he just bought like with the shot. <laughs> Is he a cool dude? Do so, you like him? So your sister, oh, yeah. so your sister right, cool. married I'm some right. white trash, then, is what you're saying. High no, class no, no. white trash. No, <laughs> he's great and he's great. I mean, he's he's cool, but he just doesn't. He likes Bernie. That's the only thing I don't like uh, about him. He likes Bernie. Yeah, that's yeah. A, he likes what? Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders. Oh, all right, all right, yeah. all right. Yeah, no, but that's the only person I've seen. Uh, but like with little <laughs> bottles of whatever. That's, well, have you watched this podcast? This is <laughs> no, I, I'm always very really curious about Mark. Right now, you're using some glass, whatever, but sometimes you just just go like this. Like, oh, that's, that's a spit cup. It's a spit oh, cup. Okay. He's always got dip in his mouth, and that drives, <laughs> dude. That drives fucking Jennifer fucking crazy. She's like, how does he spit in the straw? I'm like, I don't know how he does it either, but he spits Stealth into mode. it. Yeah, <laughs> like a boss. Listen, the man can spit down at urethra like nobody else. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you have two cups all the time. Yes. Yeah, one to drink oh, and one to Seth is, Seth is a lush. Seth is a lush. Fuck no. Yeah. <laughs> He's probably drinking while talking. Yeah, right probably. Now. Most like, of, Most people are. Well, I got to tell you, man, this uh, this podcast um, ha has been super fun, man. Super fun. Yeah. And you know what, T? What? You didn't say it's the worst podcast ever. Oh. Holy shit. Oh, no, because yeah. Mario's on. Yeah. Mario's on. Fuck, we Mario's made... Damn. I, you're right. I'm being honest, Mario's been the best guest for like yeah. two and a half months. I have to say this, Mario, I'm that Mario's been awesome. on behalf of myself personally... Anytime you want to pop in, whether it's for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, or a you're half hour, or even anytime. another podcast, you're always welcome yes, back, buddy. Yes, yes. I, oh, I told you guys this was yeah. going to be good. Yeah. They were like, Mar Mario's where, coming where'd on. Where'd Mario go? Where'd Jesus. Mario go? Where did you go, yeah, Mario? He just left. <laughs> he's, <literally. just>, he's, <laughs> he's like, I'm like, done with these. He's problems. like, all right, I'm out. <laughs> that might have been the Where'd most perfect Where'd you go, Mario? Time. Why'd you leave, Mario? Hit the camera button, Mario. Uh Oh, man. I don't know what I'm doing, man. <laughs> With that 49 cent laptop. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, he's on a cell phone. He's got a special phone just for this occasion. We can still hear you, though, Mario. Oh, great. Okay, you guys can't see me, right? We can't see you. No. Yeah, we can't, we can't see you, but we can hear you. Oh, okay. I, Mario. All the time, Mario, it's like, I, cough, I hope. cough twice if DHS is there. Yeah. <laughs> 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 listen, <laughs> listen, Mario. I, I just want to tell you, I, I really appreciate you coming on, man. I know, I think you know. I think I maybe it might have been a little bit intimidating, you know, because you, you know you're not uh, you're not uh, English isn't your first language. But I think you did an awesome fucking job, man. And it, it's been awesome having you on. You're 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 fu super fucking awesome guy. Awesome to talk to, and. Uh, 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 you're one of the one, the one of the guys that I've had on my bucket list, and I've now s struck off the podcast bucket list. So now all I got to do is get Diego Garcia on, and oh, and on. Frank Rave. If I get when I get those oh. two, yeah, Frank Rave, Fine. yeah, Frank Rave. I might. Dude, what, about, what about Fluff Daddy? I need some Fluff Daddy. In my I don't life. think I don't think Fluff Daddy fucking cleans windows anymore. Is he done? I think uh, Fluff, Who's Daddy, Fluff Daddy. Um. My the, best friend at the convention. The guy that <laughs> Seth in one of the videos was walking down the stairs and they were holding hands. 
Yeah. Oh, okay. We got Fair Fluff much. Daddy so we got <laughs> Fluff Daddy so fucked up the night before. Yeah, dude, I left him in a hallway. <laughs> they left him oh, in a hallway. Girl. This motherfucker fell asleep in his car, dude. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, we got <laughs> Fluff Daddy fucked up, but uh, but yeah, dude, I just want to tell you, Mario, thanks for coming on. Um, I, I really appreciate it again. I like one of my bucket list guys. I got on. Um, you're more than welcome to come back anytime. Um, yeah, it's uh, yeah. Mike said that Fluff got a he, Fluff got a job. He went out and got a job, a, a regular uh, job. Right, He's punching right. a clock now. Yeah. So when you told me that day, I was like, oh man, I just downloaded it right away. Yeah. And I sent you the screenshot. Is it right? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, hey man, you want to come on the podcast, dude? And he's like, fuck yeah. I'm like, hell yeah, dude, sweet. So yeah, Mario's been one of the best guests. Yeah. We've had in the- yeah. Right. Well, yeah. I gotta say this. He pays smart. attention more than anyone. I've oh ever yeah! Seen. Oh yeah! He don't. Yeah, yeah he's got I a mean, mind like a fucking steel trap. This one. <laughs> yeah, I have good memory. He's like, oh, Mr. Henry. Oh, Mr. 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 This person. Was always, like, yeah, always <laughs> respectful. He's so polite. Yeah, always respectful, re- polite. I know you got. He, he busts balls on the fucking internet and it drives people nuts. But that's just Mario on Facebook. He's actually a really good dude, a really good dad, and a hell of a window cleaner. And. uh um, we we really liked having him on. So when uh, uh, whenever you feel like coming back on again and bullshitting with us, Mario, you're more than fucking welcome, man. We really yeah, appreciate um, you, man. Yeah, absolutely. I remember. I, I remember the day you guys did the 100 episode. I was like, ah, oh, should I leave my pride to the side? Oh, I want to be there. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching. It all, man, you should have. But I, I never, never, never put a dislike. I never did that. Yeah, you. But, you're, yeah, yeah. You're 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 a pretty solid, dude, man. If if you're gonna if you're gonna throw shade, you do it publicly. You're not you're not one of those type of dudes that are just gonna do it on the down low. Yeah, me and Mario, we didn't we didn't really have Bill. We me and Mario didn't really have beef per se, but we just like to. Uh, we I think Mario likes to bust, bust balls, and I like to bust balls, and we're just like a perfect storm of ball busting. You know what I mean? So yeah, I like to bust balls in Spanish. Yeah, and- ja ja ja, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Spanish, ja ja ja, motherfucker. Because <laughs> in Spanish the H doesn't have a sound, so it's like ah ah ah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's J man. J's are Y. Yeah, J's are Y. JR, JR, yeah. I wouldn't yeah. be mad if Mario was like the fourth guest always. Yeah, like, <laughs> you did. Yeah. You did a really good job, yeah, Mario. I guess it flowed so well. And yeah, and yeah. according to the comments, everyone is super stoked about this podcast. So um, I'm I'm really glad that it happened. Thanks again for coming on, Mario. You guys. Um, go to Patreon, www.patreon.com forward slash squeegee life if you want to become a patron. Um, unfortunately, if you want to become a patron and you want, you're want, you trying to angle on the new uh, 4th of July squeegee life shirt, it's too late already. Um, that, that opportunity is coming gone, but if you want to be a patron, you can. Um, f- like and subscribe. Uh, you got any questions, you know where to find us. We're in the Squeegee Life podcast page. And, um, you know, thanks to Maker Products and uh, Zero and Black Diamond Rubber and everybody for uh, supporting the show. And uh, we'll see you guys uh, next Wednesday. Right, guys? Next Wednesday. Peace. All right, man. Yep. Peace. Yeah, good, man. Take care, everybody.